What up? What <clears throat> up? Boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy, the dating game was good. So shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to everybody on the panel. Make sure you guys go to badboymembership.com. And uh, yeah, that's that's what it is. And real game, no theory. Make sure you guys go there and check out everything. All right. So that's. All right, guys, T.D. D. Williams, over 30 years in the motherfucking game. I'm not a part of a manosphere pill and all that other goofy ass shit they doing. So let's get it, guys. I got a question. Put a Q in there. If y'all want to call in, y'all got the number. We're going to chop it up. Let's get into it right now, gentlemen. Okay. we talk. Anyway, I'm Coach EO, Mr. Champion Game. Good to be back with the fellas Sunday. Uh, value for value. Call into the show. Don't Like Lucario says, don't wait for the last 15 minutes to call in because... By then, we're already ready to roll out. So anyway, good topic. Ready to spit some game. Let's do this. Look, real quick. <laughs> so, uh, holla at your boy, KZAC and 20 on, on the YouTube front. Also on, on the gram, at KZAC and 20. Also, every Saturday at noon, the manhood is a skill set show. Don't fuck with your... But uh, my name is Mr. 1950. Um, you know, I'm, I'm preparing you to prepare your woman to be a woman. Be Woo. a woman in your life. Uh, I'm the last traditional man on the planet. And all I want to do is help you out. You can you can definitely contact me, Mr. 1950.com, uh, Mr. 1950 YouTube, Silverback Lifestyle, Instagram. Um, just follow me, man. I mean, let's rock. Yo, yo, what's going on? Uh, it's your boy, Miles Cunningham. Um, shout out to the Bad Boy membership. Shout out to the Game Kings documentary. Uh, respect to everybody on the panel. I really appreciate you guys being here. Appreciate being here with you guys. Um, let's fit this game because we know these guys need it. you deal with ain't gonna be a one-night stand or they ain't gonna be like on the first night and and that that's understanding the game too because if you're out here doing your thing you know it ain't gonna always happen that way but a lot of times and, and this is where we talk about you guys gotta you know uh, uh use your resources to, under, to to learn more game and understand this is that when you're out here really dealing with women right you're going to experience certain things that's going to give you a whole new mindset of what it actually means to deal with women Man, how you missed the opportunity, dog? Yo, didn't she say that you wanted him to tell us the name? She ready. She ready. Oh my God, what's name? He sounded like she wanted him to. She wanted him to say some nasty shit. He got to He got to call her back and tell her, look. Hey, look, so I, I, you know, I've been doing this in the past for a long time. When you come over here, I need you to come over here and I need you to wear this. And you tell her what you want her to wear yep. and let her know when you get here and ain't going to be no talking. We're not talking. All we doing is enjoying each other. It's like, why the fuck are y'all in these goddamn boyfriend, girlfriend relationships? What benefit is it bringing to you? Now, my thing is, like with the dude that was on earlier that had a chick living with him, she brought no value to that motherfucker. Mm. And all she cooked was some sloppy joe and some ramen noodles. So what, he could do that by himself. What's he, what he need that bitch for? Stop, 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 stop. You see, you see what see what's happening right here? What's happening right here is you're you're letting you're letting your ego like fall in place with your dick. You can't do that. You you have to separate you have to separate that shit. You understand? Enjoy your enjoy your time with these women and then leave it where it leave it exactly where it is. Because 
Since the fall of the PUA community back in 2007, most PUAs ran underground because they had nothing to offer. The content creator has become the hero today, dedicated to one single objective, to declaw and defang any person who listens. They decided to join forces to create a cult and never giving those who listen a solution. It's all about clothes, cars and money. Deception and manipulation. Indirect game. Going your own way. They talk pills and plates. They complain. They blame. Fake it till you make it. I just don't get it. A man doesn't need to lie to meet women. He just needs to learn how to spit flavor in her eyes and in her ears. Thanos broke down the game when he said, As long as there are those who remember what was, there will always be those who cannot accept what can be. Even in darkness, a man can find light. Sometimes the world doesn't need a group of fake heroes teaching lies. Sometimes the world needs a group of anti-heroes to bring balance, order and truth to the game. It's time to summon the authentic players of the game. Only one group dares to challenge this threat gathered together from the cosmic regions of the streets. These anti-villains are hated because they put all the accountability on the man. They know the game will never be about women. They fight for every young man who is trying to learn their family name. Dedicated to truth, keeping it real and manhood. Get your notebooks out, ask questions and call in. Don't just listen to the message, become the message. All right, all right, we here, we up, we good. Right? Up. We rocking and we rolling. All right, let's get it from the bar. Uh, who the? Uh, let's get it from the, the box. The will be live in five seconds. Too far. Four, yeah, three, Miles, we go for the bottom of the top. One, yo, 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 what's going on? What's going on? It's your boy Miles Cunningham. Uh, appreciate being here. Appreciate everybody on the panel. Um, respect to the chat. Uh, yeah, man, let's go get it, man. Let's go. All right, Zach. All right, let's get it. This is a dope topic. I'm ready to go, man. Let's go. All right. Cario. What up? What up? What's going on? How's everybody doing? Shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to everybody on the panel. Um, let's get it going. Let's do I'm ready. Let's go. Yeah, guys. All remember, just add, put your questions in, put a cue for your questions and everything, and we'll get to it if we can. Call, we'll take calls over questions. E, you up, my brother. Yeah, man. Bernie, appreciate the super chat, man. You came in here early with the, the with the 20. So appreciate that. Shout out to the crew, man. Uh talking about congruence today. And uh, so call in. We got we're here for two hours. All right, let's go. All right. So, uh, oh, real quick, uh, shout out Bernie L because he came through with the 20. So shout out to you. you you're doing your rounds. And shout out Joe Blast with the five, man. Appreciate you. All right, 50, go ahead. You got it, man. Hey, man, shout out to Bernie, too, man. He shot me uh, the, the, the game coin. You know what I mean? So I really appreciate that. Uh, shout out to you, man. Uh, shout out to everybody on the panel. Uh, shout out to all the moderators uh, and the people that join us every Sunday, man. I, I know we're, we're on here a long time, but I hope you get some from the program, man. Appreciate y'all. All right, uh, all right, Zach, what you got, man? Talk to us. No, uh, let me let me just say this, and I said this not recently, but I said it previously. <clears throat> when you're dealing with people, whether it be your coworkers, your family members, your homies, these females, if five people were put into a room and none of them knew each other, but they all knew you, they should have similar things to say about you. Your personality shouldn't be so fucking drastic where you literally change who the fuck you are based on your setting and shit. Now, I understand that work that, you know, you got to kind of, you know, be cool because you don't want to get fired and shit. But even with females, you know what I'm saying? If you're dealing with females and you die and they all at your funeral, they should have similar shit to say about you and shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and congruence and being consistent is um, a big part of being a man. And it's also why dudes fail because they're not congruent and they're not consistent. Let's get it. That's real shit. Um, I, I would say this real quick is, uh, you know, I think I think what happens is, is that because guys are so attached to uh, the outcomes of, you know, dealing with women, um, what they do is, is that they forget who they are in the process 
and then they become a whole different person. The funny part is, is that when a guy actually attracts a woman when he's just naturally being himself, right? He gets with her and then sometimes because he wants to keep her around or he wants to uh, keep things going, he starts to change himself. But the funny part is, is that the guy that she actually started to that she liked or even fell in love with was the guy who he was being, which was his natural self in, in certain cases. So a lot of times dudes forget who they are and then they start to change themselves because they think they need to change themselves or do what the woman wants to keep the woman. And then that's the, the ironic part is, is that is what makes the woman not attracted to them at the end of the day. So I think a lot of guys have to understand that, you know, or the opposite might happen. Some dudes might act a certain way that's phony to attract the woman. And then they'll get them and then, then the real self comes out and then they're like, who is this guy? So it's just, you know what I'm saying? It's just being consistent with what you're about, who you are, and then just, you know, keeping track with that. Now, if you change up, it should be a, a switch up that you wanted to do versus you doing it because mm-hmm. you think you're going to keep her or whatever it is like that. You know what I'm saying? Shout, shout, out, to, shout out to Thiago Con, Conclaves with the $10, uh, $10 super chat. He says, ready to learn from you guys and apply it in my life. Uh, keep it 100, as always. Salute. And we got two calls whenever y'all ready. Let me, let me just add this real quick on what Elle said. I think the last part, that's most guys. Mm-hmm. When they show women a representative, yeah. and then eventually when they get upset or something, because when you get mad, that, that kind of, that's more you than, than when, you're, when you're happy and shit. So right. I think that comes out, and the women be like, who the fuck are you? You were just nice, sweet, <laughs> compassionate guy, but they weren't, they're not compassionate. They're not that nice guy. They're really dicks and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. you know, if you're going to be a dick, be a dick in the beginning. That's all I got to say about that. Thanks. Dicks. You know what? I'll throw hey. in something real okay. quick here. Um, the number one thing, you know, guys talk about shit tests in the manosphere, the, like a woman shit testing. But the truth is you got to shit test yourself. Okay. I am always shit testing myself. And then I set traps for anybody who wants to fuck with me. And I, and they don't even know I'm doing it. So if it's a woman, it's a man, it's family, fr- even if it's an old friend, a uh, coworker, colleague, whoever, I'm going to do things with a purpose to see if they're who they say they are. And then I'm going to find that out very quickly because I'm very strategic with what I do. So the one thing is, guys, if they're, if you're worried about a woman shit testing you, then you haven't shit tested yourself as a man enough. OK. And then number two is once you've shit tested yourself enough by putting yourself in environments, even even like environments like, for example, I'm on the sixth Sunday uh, Saturday night. I'm not red pill. I said that fucking clearly clear as day last night. I'm not red pill. I don't do that. Now, I'm not disrespecting it, but I'm not that. And so if you could go into a situation where everybody is red pill and then say you're not, you're mm-hmm. showing yourself who the fuck you are. And if you mm-hmm. can maintain respect at the same time, you're even a bigger man. So I'll say this is that b- before you worry about another person shit testing you, you need to shit test yourself and put on that fucking armor of manhood. Then he ain't even worried about what, 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 what anything on the outside is coming at you because you're going to stay congruent. Thanks. I want to say really quick, man. I remember my, my my grandfather said to me when I was really young. He said, "No man should be oppressed enough on uh, about anything to change who you are." Mm. He said, "The only only reason why you change is, is fear, or you're impressed by somebody to feel like you need to change." And those things for me, like that, that resonates with me. I, I never, I'm never impressed by you know other people's uh, so called success. Or I'm never impressed by uh, a woman that I believe that's a beautiful woman, right? Those things won't move me to change. So, like again, I always try to tell men, you 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 gotta have you 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 should be able to move in a way that you never change who you are. Mm-hmm. Like like I I I do you know when when I'm around in business, I move the same way. Um, I, I, but it is a certain level of professionalism that I use. So the language is different. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's the only That's reason right. is because it's professional. Right. Mm-hmm. And, 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 but other than that, the way that I move, the way that I communicate, the way that I talk to others, even, yeah. even to some, even to my character, my clients, uh, my customers, um, you know, the, the, most of the time when I set goals for business, everything is about me and how I move, what, do I want my brand to look like this? And I'm not talking about YouTube. I'm talking about my regular business life. Mm. I'm talking about how I want, uh, how do I want all of my, my, my employees to dress down to the shoestrings? Mm. How do I want that to be a, how do I want people to view us as a whole when we coming in for the five to six 
uh, people. So I'm just letting y'all know, man, for me, never be impressed enough to change who you are as a man. Exactly. I want to add, add something real quick. So, go ahead, Miles. Go ahead. Uh, so, you know, a big part of what we're talking about here as well is integrity. And uh, for those who don't know what integrity means, integrity basically means that you do what you're supposed to do, do, do what you consider is, is correct and right for you, even when nobody's looking. In a mm -hmm. sense. So, the, so the title is about who do you become when women are around? So that means when the when the environment changes, do you do you change? Does your does your basic character change? And what I want to say to that is, is that the problem with a lot of people um, and, you know, we're talking about men in particular, is that a lot of men are afraid of they're, they're afraid of being who they are, who they are, because they're they're afraid of what of what is not for them. Mm -hmm. You understand right. what I'm saying? A lot mm -hmm. of guys are afraid of what is not for them, and 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 let me explain a little bit what I, what I mean when I say that. So so the average guy will meet a girl, <clears throat> and she's cute. She got a fat ass. She she looked like whatever, right? She she looks good to him. She's she's attractive or whatever. And the thing is, he will try to force the situation, and and upon forcing the situation, he will try to. Uh, adjust his character he'll try to change a part of who he is to mm. see if he can make her more comfortable to come around to the you know to the idea of wanting to you know have sex with him be with him whatever it is right you understand? but what really happened there was that he was he was he was afraid of the fact that that female that he was attracted to was not is not for him you understand? And that's what and, and that's what we do a lot of the times. Like, you know, like uh, Mr. 1950 said, he, he said, um, you know, I'm not I'm not impressed by what by another person's success. Right. And looking at other people's success, sometimes we want that for ourselves. Mm. Sometimes we look at ourselves and we, and we realize that we're a certain type of person. And it's like, damn, based on the person that I am, I don't think I'm going to get that or right. I don't think I deserve that. But I really want that. Mm -hmm. So let me let me change who I am and try to get that. But let me tell you something about uh, the universe and about life. Your destiny is tailor fucking made. Mm -hmm. You understand? I'm a, I, I believe that. I mean, of course, there are variables that you can, you know, adjust to affect the outcome of certain things. You understand? I'm not, I, I, I don't just totally believe that it's is is totally automatic and your fate is sealed. I believe that there's there's there are actions that you can take to affect the outcome. Yes. Mm -hmm. Strategically speaking. Right. But what I mean when I say that your 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 destiny is tailor made is that the things that are for you are exactly for you. Mm -hmm. You understand? Based on the, the person that you are. What 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 messes a lot of guys up is that we try to lie to ourselves to change who we are and then we get a certain outcome and at the end of the day we're not we, we there's no way we can be happy with that outcome mm -hmm. you understand like we, we see this all the time guys meet a girl yo how soon did you make her your girl oh you know about a month and a half in i made you know we got into a relationship and it's like Bro, you you was just really trying to keep her around. That's not really the type of guy that you are. The type of guy that you are wants to make sure that she's a woman for you. Mm. But you were scared of what wasn't for you, so you forced the relationship early to try to keep her in your life. Mm. You know what I'm right. saying and now you're in the situation. You calling us up now, talking about yo man. How do I get my girl to stop being so disrespectful, bro? How do I check my girl? How do I do this? The reason why you got to do all that is because you you somewhere along the way you lied. Somewhere mm. along the way you. You you spit in the face of the universe <laughs> for, 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 for the sake of some pussy to try to keep her in your life. And now you're in a situation where you're dealing with a woman that was never for you from the beginning. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. it's about integrity and it's about understanding that, you know, what's for you is for you. And don't be afraid of what is actually for you. And don't lie to yourself to try to make something that's not for you. <laughs> I always say that, you know, basically who you become. I mean, uh, most of these guys are just under this impression that women are stupid, uh, that women, women are just just so damn dumb that they can't see how fake, how creepy, how weird you are. You know, I, I always say it's like looking out of the window. When any man looks out of the window, you will see a light image of yourself as you look out the window. But who's ever on the other side of that window is going to see you for who the fuck you are. And this is what these guys don't even understand. They think that they're they think that they're actually covering up 
a sore that everybody sees. Like you're the butt of the joke. You actually think that you're actually cool. You actually think that you're actually calm. You actually think that you have confidence. No, she sees pussy. She sees creepy. And what's so what's so bad about it is these women are smart enough to play dumb enough to string your ass along to make you think that you actually run his shit when they're really pulling the strings. So try to become what you want. See, this is why we always say game is important because mm-hmm. either you have it or you don't. And if you motherfuckers mm-hmm. think you have it sometimes, you don't have it at all. So remember, Law Zero always say the game ain't for everybody because if you ain't in this game, just sit yourself aside and let the real ones fuck. Right. And, and, and there's no such, thing, there's no such thing as some game either. Me, yeah, yeah. And, and, and really everything is game too it's not like it, it ever turns off yeah. i mean everything you do is game so checking the mailbox game i mean you know say, uh, say hello to your neighbor game i mean it's like what time what time do you check the mailbox do you wait too late you know i mean everything is game whether you know it or not and then so real quick shout out to ricky webster for the 10 we appreciate that and ozzy Duran uh Duran uh, uh duran for the 20 thank you so much Ooh, let me add this real quick real quick um Guys, women have been getting lied to since they were in middle school. You know what I'm saying? So they, they didn't see it all, heard mm-hmm. it all. And what guys don't, don't understand, women know when you're lying. And they might still deal with you. But because they already know that you're lying, they're going to manipulate you. They're going to turn the table and be like, oh, okay, he's going to come like this. All right, I'm going to make him think he got it. Mm-hmm. And before you know it, it's on empowerment. All right, man, let's go. Are right, y'all ready for the calls? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let me go. All right, 404-404. You are on live with Real Game No Theory panel. What's up with you? Hey, how you doing? Oh, Lord. What's going on, bro? Hey, um, like, you want to know why I know this? Like, well, well I know that you, you can tell, you know, if a woman is a virgin, oh, right? Call her, call her real quick, real quick. A woman is a you, virgin? Call her, hold on, call her, call her real quick. When you when you say your words, like pronounce them individually. Because you're, like, you're running them together. <laughs> yeah, okay? yeah, call her. Speak a little bit more clearly, clearly and ask your question. Go ahead and ask your question. Jesus Christ. Okay. Do you know that I tell a woman is a virgin? You said, do you know how to tell if a woman is a virgin? Yeah, like I mean, going, call it, call it, call it, call it. Going, going, going to the going to the doctor. <laughs> call her, call her. Let me let me um let, let me let me explain yeah, something right. to you. That's true. The only time you can really tell if a woman is a virgin is if no, you I'm had in sex no with diamond. a virgin. <laughs> yeah, if you had if you actually had sex, I do have sex with, with a virgin. virgin. <laughs> uh, okay, and, and what the, and, and describe to us how that was. Describe I, to us I, how I that was. You, I to you. Go ahead, prove it to us. What are you talking about? Like, you gonna your fingers in the middle? I have sex a pussy bleed. No, no, no. You got bigger no. things to you know about than a version, bro. I, I, you need to learn how to I think, talk. You yeah, need to I think, wake up. Yeah. You need to get the crust out your eyes, bro. There's a lot of bro, shit you got to do. A woman, a woman as a bleeding. man, as a human being, uh, before you're worried about a, a, a virgin, bro. Yeah. A woman a woman bleeding, bro, is not a tall tale sign. That's not 100% true, bro. All right, call it, call it. Um, okay, so what's the reason for all this? What, what, why do you need to know if a woman is a virgin? No, I, I don't want no virgin. I don't want no virgin. I'm saying that. I'm saying that. He's he's all over the place, I, man. I, I, want, I want to give you information that you don't know. I'm saying that. Oh, we don't know. know. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to get a speech that, coach. That is what you need to do. That, get yourself a speech coach. That's what you need to do. All right, all right, all right, caller. Um, you know, uh, there's really no way to tell unless you you've been uh, around that woman 24 seven since the day she was born. Uh, so that's pretty much it, man. Uh, you you have another question? No. All right. Thank you. Take it easy. Thanks for supporting that, medic- that medicate that medication cabinet in the bathroom. Yo, why are you calling up? Trying to act like you're putting us on to some shit. I don't like what you right. yeah, take shit. Uh six eight two, six eight two. You're on live with the real game note theory panel. What's up? Yes, sir. Thank y'all for having me on. Um, I just wanted to give you guys perspective on something. Hold on, man. Nick, we don't say hush. We don't we don't use the word hush. Just wanted to say that really quick. <laughs> All right, go ahead. All, right, all right, go ahead, Cola. Go ahead. <laughs> nice. No, you good, bro. But yeah, I just wanted to get you guys' perspective on something that I posted. So um, I'm going to read it real quick, and then just wanted to get you guys' interpretation. Oh, wait, what's your question, man? What is your question? Because we all need your perspective on shit. What's your fucking question, man? What is your question? 
we're, we're men. We have perspective. So what's your question? Do you think that uh, it behooves a... Oh, unique. A thank you for the super uh, job for that $50 uh, super chat. Uh, Antonio, thank you, man. You're around women betray. As I, I would see, this this is perspective here. So we read something that's important. We don't give a fuck what you read. What is your question, man? <laughs> yeah, I'm, not, I'm asking a question at the moment. So do you think it behooves a man who wants a, a successful lifelong marriage to be aware if his wife is happy? What the fuck? Are you <laughs> his wife is happy. That is that the question? No, the question is: Do you th- okay? Do you think it benefits a man? Uh huh. Aware? Why are you worried about other men? Happy if he wants a lifelong marriage. Why do you, why do you care about another man? Well, let me let me um. <clears throat> no, like, okay. Go ahead, K. Zach, and I'll go after you. Let me let me, let me just say this, Carl. Let me just say this. Um, me personally, I could just speak for myself. I'm not concerned with whether someone is happy or not. My thing is this, right? I understand that if I meet a woman and during the duration of us dealing with each other, I understand what about me that she is attracted to, right? I understand what it is about me <clears throat> that that she's drawn to. So if I'm being myself, all I got to do is continue being myself. Mm. That's all I got to do. You know what I'm saying I'm, I'm not going to wake up and, and, and always every day of the week be looking at her face and, and wondering if she's happy or sad and what, what can I do to make it better? I don't concern myself with that goofy shit. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is be yourself in the very beginning, assuming you actually like yourself, be yourself in the very beginning and just be do that consistently. If the woman, because call her, the woman can be unhappy and it has nothing to do with you. And just because you her man doesn't mean you can fix whatever issue she might have, bro. And it's not your job to be Mr. Fixer of everything. And also, too, you got to understand, like, again, happiness is her. That's her. That's her job to be happy within herself. So the thing is, the most you can do is if you influence her, a, a woman, right, your influence can have her see a certain perspective, which can make her feel a certain thing, which can make her, you know, feel some sort of happiness or some sort of, you know, like pleasure or whatever it is like that. But it's not really your job to do it. You can't make a woman happy. And so I'm saying that's her job to make herself happy. It's literally impossible to make well, a woman happy. Why is he asking this question? He ain't got no pussy. What's the question? Right. Point of question. You ain't got no woman. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Caller, how many, how many women are you dealing with right now? At the moment, I deal with maybe one woman, but man, you lying. Did, did he say maybe one? Like you maybe one? Like, look, are you right? No, you lying. Bro. Why? You lying? <laughs> you say maybe one. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. You said you said basically one. What what does that mean? Why did you have to put a preface before you said right. one? Because uh, it's somebody that I'm interested in, but it's not. Oh, interesting. Oh, wait, wait. So are you are you are you? Wait, have you smashed this girl yet? Fuck no. <laughs> no, I have Okay, then you're not dealing with your you, look. So the answer to the question is zero. Say zero, okay? Are you dealing with any women right now? No, I'm dealing with zero women right now. He, he's not dealing with he's not dealing with women, but he's impressed by one. By yes. memes, yeah, but he's, he's he's in love with a bunch of fucking memes and shit. And he, and he hasn't smashed, but but he's he's concerned with her happiness even before they've done anything. Jesus Christ. Christ. No, hey, memes are the truth. <laughs> on, listen, listen. It's not your job to make her happy. It's your job to make her feel special. But you ain't even special to yourself, so you're going to lose right. it all front. So, hey, brother, what is your fucking question? Can we get to your question, please? All that babble you saying, what is your fucking question? I'm going to ask my question. Uh, maybe I just didn't ask it the way that I wanted to ask. That was my basic. Well, well, Carla, let, let, me, let, me, let, let me just say this to you, Carla. Let me just say this to you. When... When you're in a situation where you're not even seeing any women and you're already talking about being married and what to do in a marriage, bro, you're not even even close to sniffing a relationship yet. So you maybe you should be asking us questions how to even get women to fuck with you, bro. <laughs> hey, I'll call it. How long you been? I don't think he's seeing her. Wow, what was the question? How long have you been seeing this woman? <laughs> Yay. This is something uh, relatively recent. Like we're talking like within the last. So, but that's not the no wait. Hold on, the last one. So, how many times you went out? <laughs> let me give you the buck with you. Let me give you the buck with you to keep honest, be honest with you uh, as far as like my frame of reference from this. When I'm talking about this specific question, I'm talking about from a uh, frame of reference of a pr- previous relationship. <laughs> for, 
11. <laughs> no, but I'm talking about this girl. I'm talking about this girl. How, how many times have y'all went out and hung out? Uh, not really, bro. Call her. I don't think it's ever. I think he's seeing okay. her. He, he, he's seeing her, but he's not yeah. seeing her. You know what I'm saying? I, I guarantee hey. you, she probably works at the grocery store or something like that, and he sees her like a couple times a week while, while he's paying for groceries. Yeah, right. right. Tell the truth, call her. Does she work somewhere, and you see her yeah, so often? Tell the truth. He be spying on Star- her. In Starbucks front desk. Hey, hello. Is it me? Oh, I got to put these on your coworkers. Is she one of your coworkers, Carla? <laughs> Maybe be honest, bro, because it, it sounds like a chick that that you're around ever so often, but you've never had a conversation <laughs> with her about being together. Like, That's what it sounds like. What you mean? Right. Hey, let me ask I'm this. Honest. Oh, go ahead. I'll, I'll ask him afterwards. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Caller, how do you know this yeah, woman? So Caller, how do you know this woman? Right, I understand. Like y'all focus on the y'all focus on no, this. No, no. How oh, do you know oh, this woman? We focus on how you how you know that woman, dog? Answer the question. How do you know this woman? Like, oh, buddy. Okay. <laughs> hey, 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 that's, that's only reserved for me, Steve. Yeah. Why you looking for else? Right. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. But this is a woman that I met out grocery shopping and stuff like that. This isn't somebody that like I was working with or anything like that. Okay. But, grocery like, shopping. I was asking the question. It wasn't. It has nothing to do. Uh, with the blue check or anything like that. What I'm saying is, I'm talking okay. about old experience that I had. That was a funny now, call, it, call it. Let me ask you this question Would a happy man choose an unhappy woman to uh, invite into his life? No. Exactly. That's your answer. There you go. That's your answer. It, it, it doesn't have to be longer than that. So right. if, if you're unhappy people generally attract and maintain relationships with unhappy people. <laughs> that's it, bro. That's your answer. All right. All right, caller. We appreciate you, man. Thanks for calling the show. All right. Most most most, most hated E. That's that's hilarious. <laughs> he said turn it into the cake. Oh like shit, I fucked up. All right, uh, 714, 714, you are on live with the Real Game No Theory panel. What's up? Hey, guys, how you doing? It's Spicoli out in California. First of all, <laughs> hey, I just want to comment about the caller. Uh, the caller two times ago who asked how you identify a virgin. <laughs> trying to identify a virgin is like trying to identify a guy who's jerked off for the first time. <laughs> That's yeah. great. I mean, so what's your question, bro? <laughs> Okay, uh, okay, here's my question. Okay, so your title was what how do you ask what do you become when you're around women? Yes. Okay? That was the title. Yeah, question. what's your question though? First of all, well, I'm leading to that. Okay. First of all, I don't become anything around a woman. I am who I am, and anything I've become, I've become way before I meet any woman. I became it on my own without the influence of a woman. So that's number one. Okay. So I don't become anything around a woman. I am who I am. Now, my second part is this, and I want to see if you agree with me. And it doesn't necessarily apply to younger guys, but guys my age who are older, you know, and more stubborn. We have to operate a little differently, let's face it. So what do you think of this, my theory? I'm at the point now where you guys are always teaching game and stuff, which is good, but I'm going to be quite frank. I'm at the point where. Go uh, ahead. I, I'm beyond game. Oh, In you're beyond. Okay. You're wondering what is being beyond game? <laughs> to me, game is if you're being be. Game no, 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 no. Game. Don't tell us what it's game what is, bro, bro. Hey, 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 hey. Caller, 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 caller. Caller, 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 caller. Caller, please, please, yeah. please. We yeah. we we are right. within game and and you are beyond game. Don't tell us what game is. I need you to tell us what <laughs> beyond game is. Please enlighten us. <laughs> okay. Beyond game is basically where you reach, let's say. Well, I'll just go from my experience. I happen to be, let's say, one of the top, you know, vid makers, top three in electronic dance music. So obviously I'm around a lot of women. I work with a lot of actresses and stuff. So just by happenstance, I don't have to impress any of these chicks. I don't have to 
game. In other words, Let me tell this guy something real quick. <laughs> Let me tell this guy. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna enlighten this guy real quick. Real I don't quick. Any fucking games with the gaming to me means that you have to kind of, you know, you know what it is. You gotta finesse the chick. You gotta, hey, caller. Hey, caller. You know what game? You know what game you're playing right now? I'm gonna late. tell the caller what game he's playing. I'm gonna tell the game. You actually are playing a game. You just don't realize that you're playing the game that I don't need. Fucking game. That is that the game you're actually playing. Is that I don't need fucking game. So there's so many games to the game of life, and you're settling into the game called I don't need fucking game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, but it's still a game. It's still a strategy that you use. For happiness, joyfulness, to get what you want in life, but you're still that is still a game you're running, uh, as opposed maybe to the game you ran 20 years ago when you were 40 or some shit. So you were running a different game at 40, and then now you're settling into the game called I don't need fucking game. But why is he calling to the show if he has so oh. much view on the game? That's so why why do you call yeah, it to the let, show? If you're let me ask you this, EO, EO, do you think like a guy who's well, who's 63, 64, who's my age? and got money, and obviously, since I do have money, and I'm going out with younger chicks, I, I'm not leading with my money like a younger guy would. What are you talking about money? Is, let's face it. They know well, I your have game, money, Your so game has evolved. Your, your, game has, your game has transitioned, caller. Your game has transitioned from okay. the 40-year-old you, that whatever that game was then, to now the 62, 63-year-old you, which is you do things different now. But your game is... Right now, the game that you're running is I don't need fucking game. That is right. your game. Call her, call her. Uh, how old are you? How old do you say you are? Yeah. How old do you say you are? What? How old are you? Something. I just turned six. Uh, I turned sixty-four January eighteenth. Okay, so when you were forty, uh, were you alive when you were forty? No, I was dead. No, I was married at forty. <laughs> okay, you was alive. So are you beyond life now because you're sixty? Are you still living? Am I beyond life? Yeah, no. you're beyond life. Or are you still living? I'm be I'm be well, obviously I'm alive, but okay. um no, I'm not beyond life, but exactly. I'm beyond the life that I had before. So okay, so so you're still living. So if you if you have been using game because you can't you have no choice but to use game because if you're living in your in life, you are using game, period. You can't be beyond game if you're still doing what you're doing, living, living life, because you're still in the game. You see what I'm saying? So you can't be beyond it if you're in it. You're still in it. How can you be on, how can you be beyond something that's, that's how, you how can you be on, how can you call her? How, call her. Call her. Shut the fuck up, please, and listen. Thank you. How the fuck can you be beyond game when game is infinite, number one? And number two, all you do has been calling the show since we've known you bitching about women. So what the fuck are you talking about when bitches that have nothing to do? Excuse me, ladies. I have to call bitches because I'm around these guys over here. But mm -hmm. the game ain't about women. So I don't know what the fuck you talking about. You, Hey, whatever you're smoking, you need to get with one of us so we can package that and market it. Some high ass shit right now. I'm, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, when, when they get beyond weed, they go to like crack. <laughs> they go to cocaine. So they, we, we shouldn't be the stopper. You, you got to go to crack. Crack is next for you. Dude just got Narcan can, can sitting around all day, just Narcan. <laughs> hey, no, but hey, caller, no, I want to ask you a question. Weed. Hey, caller, I call, let me ask you a question. Let me prove something to you. Let me prove something to you. Do you take yeah. any pills like vitamins or fish oil, anything like that? Yeah, I take all that stuff. I take CBD, uh, uh, multivitamins, minerals, fish oil. Perfect. On, so on when you, when you do and, that, yeah, when you do that, that, okay, so when you do that, that's an, another game you're playing, which is called the health uh, health and wellness game. So when you take anything <laughs> to keep your 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 machine running and functioning at the highest level you could possibly have it functioning at, you're playing the health and wellness game. And then when you go into women, you open a different door, which is called I don't need fucking game, but but that's still a game that you're playing. So no matter what, you can never escape these games that you're playing. Mm -hmm. It's impossible. Okay, let me ask you a question, uh, uh, Coach Geo, because uh, you're. Um, yeah, yeah, I just want to ask you this personally. Do you think that obviously I'm playing a different game than the younger guys because I'm in a different situation? But do you think 
personally that at my age, um, circumstances, that whatever game I'm playing is the right game for yeah. me, yeah. or do you think I should be playing a different game? Okay, well, I'll tell you this. Are you happy running this game you're running? Uh, the way your life is set up, are you happy with your experiences? I'm going to make a statement, and it'll be hard to believe. I am, even with COVID going on and all this, at 64, I am the happiest I have ever been in my goddamn life by at least times five. I've never been happier in my life than I have been. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I was going to say, keep running that, that 65-year-old game you're running, that game that you're running now, because clearly it's working for you. So uh, don't uh, don't try to fix what's, what's not broken. Hey, that's not a game. That's a fucking lie. He ain't hey, fucking. Hey, well, well, no, it's still a game. It, it's still a game. There, there, you can't escape the game. Even even video games. I mean, you know, I'm a gamer. I play. I play uh, poker. I mean, there's so many doors in the life in, in the game of life. So he entered the game of, you know, I'm not running game. <laughs> and, and so that is a that there's a group of people in that room. Uh, a lot of black pill people too. And so they're all up in there talking about game doesn't exist, but they're still running that. There's a that's a game going on in there and they fit into that group very well right uh, like like I, i'll say yeah, this. You know what I'm saying? i want to make one more quick point to all the boys out there the fact that i'm able to do this i mean i mean i'm not brad pitt looking i'm well, just finish it. Looking just, looking just, looking yeah, yeah. Yeah. so you so you so you are so you obviously admire brad pitt's face that's what you're saying you're not brad pitt or nothing so you obviously are impressed by brad's pitt's face mm -hmm. Yo, call it. Just make your point. Well, just, just make your I point. No tangents. Just make your point. Make your point. Go ahead. My point. Go ahead. My point is this. It's very important. Okay. I'm. I, I used to be like five eleven, and oh you get older. You, and so now I'm. Five. I'm sorry, guys. I'm. I'm sorry. I just can't. Okay. You really want to talk about this nigga anymore? Like next call, oh, man. Shout out to him. I'm just making a general point. I'm just making a general point overall. <laughs> but for anyone listening, if you guys have a life that you're happy with and you're getting everything you want in life, then if you want to listen to us just for entertainment purposes, cool. Right, but right. you ain't gotta yeah. call up and say all that bullshit. <laughs> 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 all right, six four six. Uh, you're on live with the Real Game No Theory panel. What's up? Yes, hi. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Yes, hi. This is Doug. Uh, with the exception of Coach Edward, uh, um, uh, with, with the exception of Coach uh, Overton, you guys make this little thing, your show, is like a roasting session for all your calls that's going through. So that guy was 65 years old. He's old enough to be your kid. Is, is this Bobby MGTOW? Well, yeah, that, it is. It's Bobby MGTOW. All right. Yeah. You need yep. hair club for men. You need hair club for men, Steve. Go get it. Okay, fine. Hey, see, this is this is again, again. This is why we can't travel, bro. Because I would have choked the shit out of this one. Like, bro, I don't, I don't do, I don't do like aggressive disrespect yep. like that. Who is this dude to be called? Like, bro, who are you? Was that like, this is what I'm saying, bro. It's like, he, he, I can't, see, like it's and, crazy. And, and he's playing the troll game. See, there's the troll right. game. And so they, they're all collected up in that motherfucker like a, mm -hmm. like a militia. And then they do their thing. So, But you got to mm -hmm. let them do their thing because you can't fuck with it. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what I'm beginning to realize? A lot of these callers are seeking validation. Yeah, facts. <laughs> That's all. I don't want to seek validation. Shout out, shout out to Matthew with the... Uh, 1999 Super Chat says, Peace to the Brothers, helping men develop into better versions of themselves. That's what's up. All right, so let's get to the other one. Uh, 734, 734, you're on live with the Real Game No Theory panel. What's up? Hey, what's going on, guys, man? I got a, I got kind of a serious call. All right. All right. Um, so, you know, all right, so my girl and I, we went out New Year's Eve with some friends. And I got like just really, really drunk, man. I actually uh went three years without drinking alcohol. Uh, matter of fact, Coach Edward Overton kind of helped uh through some time because you know I just realized I was better without alcohol. So my first time like really drinking a lot in three years. I drank a lot on New Year's, and basically I blacked out. I don't remember anything, but apparently I broke a lot of shit. 
you know, I was talking to other, other females in front of my girl, man. I really, mm-hmm. I really fucked up a lot of shit. Okay. And I just want to know, um, is there any chance I can get her back or, um, oh, damn. You know, I'm serious, man. Oh, I, bro, you need it. You know, first and foremost, right. first and foremost, bro, first and foremost, I always talk about men putting in, in themselves in position to protect themselves. When you, you blacking out, bro. I'm sure somebody's winning your pockets. Mm-hmm. You don't even know if you was violated by another man or not. Oh, yeah. This this is this is how bad this is how bad you position you put yourself in. I'm right. not even talking about this woman. You yeah. obviously have a drinking alcohol problem yes, sir. Mm-hmm. that you need to address. You need to go to some some meetings. Yes. You need some therapy, some counseling. Right. Mm-hmm. Bro, this starts with you. This has nothing to do with her. And until you get yourself together, oh, absolutely, absolutely. you shouldn't even think about you shouldn't even think about visiting that conversation about entertaining the idea about even coming to approach that woman in any way. You need to take care of yourself and your life because right now it sounds like you hit rock bottom, bro. Mm-hmm. For any man to put themselves in that position. All right, so I have a question. Um, mm-hmm. So there's video uh, camera. We actually are invested in real estate property. So there's cameras at the properties. I saw what I did. Um, Bro, you lost your job too? Not good, but of course I wasn't. Uh, excuse me. Uh, it's not work related. I, I own. We own properties. Oh, okay. Oh, um, okay. Well, wait, 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 stop. Time out. Time out. All right, time yeah, out. Time out. I, I want to hear all that sob shit. Time out. Time wait, out. Can I wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You can't. Hold on. Hold on. I'm fucking ass up. And let me ask you a question. Stop that. I hate all this this uh, poor me shit. Let me ask you a simple question. Who is your coach right now? And if you say nobody, I'm gonna say fuck you. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you coaching by? Who who is your coach right now? Who? Mr. Arnold. Who the fuck? Well, then why don't you call Mr. Arnold? <laughs> What the fuck you calling that for? Mr. Arnold failed you on New Year's Jackson? Eve. Because you guys are relationships. Well, go, Mr. Well, Arnold, Mr. Arnold failed you on New Year's Eve. Call her, call her, like, 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 like. He like fucked up. your life up. Listen, you're calling or, or you, he failed Mr. Arnold. One yeah, of the you, other. Yeah, like, yeah. like, like, call her, call her. You're, the, the, the last thing you should be thinking about is, is the female right now, bro. Look, call like, her. Like, really. The most important relationship that you need to fix is the relationship with yourself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Understand? You are, you are, you are. You, have you, have you drank since, since the incident on New Year's? I went two weeks uh, without drinking, and uh, so the answer is yes. The answer is yes. The answer is yes. The answer is yes. Arnold does his Yes, bro. You see, listen, yo, 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 yo. Stop, man. Stop. You see, your problem, a big problem that I'm seeing already, is that you have a problem with just actually dealing with the fucking truth. That's probably why you drink in the first place. Mm-hmm. I asked you a simple question: Have you drank since the New Year's incident? And instead of just saying yes, you're yeah. like, "Well, I have. I went to a bar and I, uh, I." Listen, bro, get in touch with reality first. Fix the relationship with yourself. Leave that woman alone. Leave that woman alone. Give that woman an opportunity to get dicked down by one of us because she deserves it. Fucking with niggas like you. Yo, you know wait, wait. How many times? Has, how many times have you blacked out? Call her. How many times have you blacked out? Because I know this isn't the first time. Years ago in college, probably. But uh, all right. So I black by blackout means I don't remember. A lot, but we I know what blackout means. Yeah, we, so, know, yeah, we know what blackout no, no, is. Hold on, hold on. This, is the thing, this is the thing. Hold on, hold on. See, I had an injury. Hold on, hold on. Wait a second. This I, is I, this, hold on. This is serious because I got blood blood. everywhere. Call her, call her. Stop, bro. Stop. Stop. Be, quiet for a second. Be quiet for a second. Be quiet for a second. What I'm saying is this: forget your girl. Forget you. Got to just focus on yourself because this is the thing. You're blacking out and you're saying, I don't remember what happened, bro. So that means uh, essentially you could do anything. Right. And you don't realize what the fuck happened and you could ruin your fucking life. Do you understand that? Uh, uh, respect to you need 79 for the uh, 50, the 50 year old super chat. He says to become someone else when you are around women is betraying and being disloyal to yourself. You are walking away from who you are and spitting in the face of your ancestors and family name. It is uh, one of the ultimate disgraces a guy can make. Respect to uh, Unique 79. Yes. Yeah, Unique 79, that was a good one. I read that one. Okay. Well, you hey, 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 call her. so call her again, man. You're struggling. <laughs> You're struggling <laughs> with an addiction. 
And you need to you need to understand, man, you're struggling with addiction. So yeah. you need to take care of that addiction. You you have you have something you can't control. Right. So in order for you to get better in life, you got to take control of your life. You got to take care of that area in your life where you can take control, my man. You got I me? I give a shout out to Arnold, man. Shout out to Arnold. Happy days. Happy days. Yeah, happy oh, days. Real quick, we got, we got to go ahead and let you go. But let me, let me just say this. For real, bro, your 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 health um, and your freedom is your concern, bro. Because you 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 could have killed somebody, bro. You, you could have really did some fucked up shit. Yeah. Well, yeah, and, stop, and stop having drinks with Mr. Arnold, man. Stop having drinks with Mr. Arnold, man. Yeah. Stop doing that shit. Yeah, so, right, hey, look, look and, and your, call her, call her. And your 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 ex, gotta, gotta your, your ex is in a better place right now because she because she can't trust you, bro. I need yeah. you to understand that she can't trust. Right. You. Call her. Go ahead and ask your, your your last question. Go ahead. Yeah, I can understand that. All right. You know, number one, um, Detroit Recovery Project. It's actually a center in Detroit. Um, that's where I did meet Mr. Arnold, but I wasn't in contact with him. Like I said, I stopped going to AA. I stopped going to okay, my meetings. Okay, caller, caller, ask even, you your know, last um, question. Caller, ask a question. Ask a question, please. Is there a chance that I can get her back in the future? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Bro, fix you. We're trying to help you out. Serious fucking question. So you need, okay, really? what you need to do is, bro, bro, the problem is, is that, listen, 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 listen. No, listen, call her, call her, listen, call her, call her. Listen, you're asking, hold on. Call her, call her, hold on, bro, hold on. I'm going to answer your question. Yo, yo, chill, chill out, chill out. Call her. Hold on. I'm sober. I'm drinking tea. Call her, call her, call her, call her, call her, listen. Hold on, guys, hold on, guys. No, hold on, guys, hold on. Call her, call her. Call her, please. Call her, call her, please. Listen. Let him, let, let him, let him talk, man. Uh, let me say this. He, he, he's gonna need to hear this. He's gonna need to hear himself, dog. Right now, he's having an attack on himself, bro. No, no, listen. It has nothing to do with us. It has nothing to do with us right now. I'm gonna attack myself. I'll attack you, nigga. No, call her, call her, call her. Hear him, bro. Hear him. Call her. Good friends. Go. Call her. Go. Call her. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I'm, I'm going to answer your I'm question. Yo, listen. Listen. <laughs> oh, come on, man. See, this is part of the reason why. This I, don't, I don't think he should talk to that woman. I don't, I'm, I'm going to say no. I don't think I don't think you should ever talk to that woman again. I, I, I feel emotional abuse. Yes. I feel physical abuse, emotional abuse. I think all those things happen to that woman. I think you need to leave her alone. Even when it let, let me let me ask him something real quick. Let me just no, ask him. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Call her, call her, call her, call her. Jesus fucking Christ, call her. Listen, <laughs> let me answer your question. You asked, right, you asked if there is if any way possible for you to get back with the chick. I'm I'm trying to explain something to you. Right now, man. Just tell me the answer, man. Just tell me the answer, bro. Oh, you, wait, 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 wait. Hang up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What did you just say? You hold on. You got a gun loaded right now. Is and what is that gun for? Oh yeah, but it ain't like myself. It's gonna turn on somebody else. Let's hang up. Lord have mercy. Yeah. We it's none of our business. We're, we're, not, not, we're not responsible for that man's life. For that, yeah, we're not responsible for that situation. Hey, oh my gosh. Oh hey, yeah. We, hey, hey, let me let me let me say this really quick before we go to the next call. And I want everybody to hear this, man. See, a lot of people don't know, but you know how I got an education, man. I got a degree in psychology. And the first thing that I've learned is, is that self-hate comes with, from within. The trauma around you increases that. So so when people tell you it's because of everything around you that's collapsing and falling in, that's not necessarily the truth. It starts with you. Yes. It starts with how you feel in regards of yourself. And sometimes you can have a chemical imbalance inside your head mm. that, that medication can help. You know, that's something yes. that's that you can't control at that point. And that's where medication helps out. So what I will tell mm. everybody is, is that you all need to make sure if you're feeling away emotionally, if you're feeling away, you need to go seek help. Yes. And we've told this man uh, again, we've told this man to go seek help from the beginning of the call, from the mid of the call. And we told him to work on himself. So if anything happens to this man, mm -hmm. we want to make sure everybody knows that we tried to help this man like men help other men straight up. Okay, let, me, let me add this. Thanks. Let me add this. Um, for any guys that's going through it like you're going through it, 
having a woman in your life isn't going to fix that issue. Yes, I and I think that's what he thinks. He thinks if I can get her back, everything would be better again. And no, the fuck it won't. You putting a band aid over a hole in the dam. That's mm. all you're doing. So, and and that's some real shit. You know, aside from his drinking, I think he got some mental health issues. He got shit. problems. He was definitely. Yeah. And, 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 and y'all, y'all need to stop. You, for anyone that's going through it, stop trying to get someone of the opposite sex to come in and, and help you heal. No, take right. care that of your shit. Issue. Yeah, facts. Yo, e e o, I, you you was gonna say something, bro? Yeah, I was gonna ask him a couple questions. Now, I'll, I'll tell the caller this if he's still listening. Is it yeah. possible you can get her back? Of course it is. It's possible, sure. Uh, okay, and there were times that I got heavily drunk with SNO. This was years ago. This was about three and a half years ago. We went out on Cinco de Mayo, and I, I had no intention of drinking, but uh, it was like in the middle of the afternoon. We went day drinking on a Sunday, and they were giving out like free shots, and uh, you know they were like, these are weak. And I, you know, I, I, I got drunk fairly quickly, and I was – flirting with women i was macking on all kind of bitches and, <laughs> and, and i'm just being honest i was right in front of her and uh she didn't leave me i mean and here's why she didn't leave me for one it's not a habit it, it was it was a one-off and i and i held myself accountable and honestly i haven't drank since then because i honest i don't want to be that man it really wasn't so much what she said although mm. i do care about what she said because if you're going to deal with a woman you got to care to some degree you should care about what they feel why you right. with her then it, it, otherwise it's the be in a relationship with yourself just stare in the mirror all day if you don't care about what other people think but uh to some degree and if you're disrespecting your woman you have to change that and mm -hmm. so i did from that moment on i didn't drink anymore and i haven't drank since then and, well, well, and uh because i wasn't proud of myself Exactly. Real talk. It was it was she part of the equation? Yes, but the big it was probably 85 15. It was about me. The other 15% right. was that, you know, I disrespected the girl I was with. I was, you know, grabbing titties. I was doing all kinds of shit. Yeah, and yeah, and so uh I, I was. I mean, they were <laughs> and ain't nobody fought back. But anyway, what I, what I'm trying to say is uh what I'm trying to say is is that um could you get your girl back? Certainly. Uh, but but what you want to do is ask yourself, do you want to be that man that's blackout drunk, that forgets what he's doing, uh, that's irresponsible? Um, I would imagine and I hope the answer is no. You sounded um, fairly you, you sounded stable at the front end and, and perhaps maybe the dynamic of the call did trigger you. And, and maybe it was good that it triggered you. Um, I hope that you don't do anything uh, harmful to yourself or anybody else. But sometimes when you see that monster come out, that's a good thing. It, the monster has to kind of come out a little bit so you That's can address saying, it. let him talk yep yes right. yes so 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 you know the key to therapy is really getting them to admit all these things and so right. to 1950s point which is something i stress all the time hey listen go see a therapist talk to a doctor it could be a chemical imbalance something that a a, a one pill a Prozac or something that that can balance everything out, and you're just a, a far happier person. So uh, uh, to to 19's point, and uh, go see a doctor. It's not embarrassing. As a matter of fact, it makes you a strong man to do so. And then the second thing is, you might find out once you clean up that you don't even want her anyway. You know, this is kind of it, it, not that she's bad. It's just that the dynamic. Once the dynamic with you changes mentally, mm. you'll start to see what you were attracted to in the past is what is no longer what you're attracted to. And so I just want, I want you to make keep yourself neutral right now and say, listen, is it possible you can get her back and things could, uh, you know, respark? Of course, it's also possible that you get yourself cleaned up and you might look at it and say, you know what? I attracted her on, on, a, on an old guy that I was and I'm, mm. and I'm in the process of redesigning myself into a new man and she's not a bad woman, but we're not really a fit anymore. Right. Uh, Eddie, Eddie, Eddie Surreal with the twenty dollars super chat. He said, "In order to own to own leadership, you must understand and love yourself." All right, go ahead. I hear just what I want to say. This show is for men who want to learn game, and it has nothing to do with women. But I want to say something for the guys out there. This is exactly why women are on fucking edge with a lot of you creepy ass motherfuckers. This is why y'all always get turned down by women. This is why women don't want to fuck with y'all, man, because y'all can't even hold your own liquor, so to speak. Y'all, mm. y'all motherfuckers want y'all. You want to run away. You want to run and get validation from a woman before you get validation from yourself. Mm. And, and if, if you're still listening right now, leave that fucking woman alone. She doesn't need to hear you having a gun. She doesn't need to hear you screaming and being abusive. This is a problem with y'all motherfuckers that go across the street and all that red pill rage bullshit. 
you come over here and you try to abuse women who don't fucking know you, don't want to be with you, and then you want to get mad at them and rage out on them when the problem is you. You're the fucking problem. It's not women. Women have been fine since the dawn of time. You're the fucked up one. And until you realize, like we say, you hate yourself, you ain't going to ever understand this shit. Leave these goddamn women to learn and learn some fucking game, man. Yep. That's All right. right. Uh, we got we got uh, you on the call. Um, 412, 412. You're on live with the Real Game No Theory panel. What's up? Hi, this is Sushi. Oh, hey, Sushi. Hi, hey, hello. Uh, yeah, I want to ask a question because so I got this wingman, right? He uh, he what said, is a wingman, uh, Sushi? Go is, that, is, that a, is that Chinese man? Where's a wingman? <laughs> what is that? Huh? What is a wingman? I'm not being funny. I'm not your fan. What's, what's a wingman? Uh, just a partner that uh, partner? goes out to pick up women. With. Partner. You oh, y'all. Partner. Sleep? Oh, you, Sushi, you're in a relationship with a guy? Congratulations. <laughs> oh, I don't know what part. What is partner? Partner. That's a guy. Sushi. I'm not talking about a word. Is it? Congratulations, bro. Wait a second. I don't know what a wingman is. I, I got game, motherfucker. I don't have no, I don't have a wingman. I don't even know what the fuck it is. What is a wingman? You said it's a partner. Oh, my. You have a lover. Is that your lover? Oh, sure. my God. No. Right. I'm sorry. Thank you for friend, bro. Okay, so you got a wingman. Now what happened? Yeah, what's the question, uh, Sushi? Go ahead. Yeah, he, he said uh, he doesn't want to go out because it's too oh. cold. So, uh, and? And? So and? what? Sushi, what is the question? Please ask the question. Yeah, so uh, what, what to do about that? I mean, do I go out without him or, you know... Are, are, are you serious, bro? Are, 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 are you serious? Let me get this one. Let me, let me get this one, man. Let me, let me get this one, man. So, Sushi, you've called in on so many different occasions, man. And, and, and I've really kept my cool, man. I, like, so, and the reason why is because I appreciate People who call in with 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 point of views, call in with questions, and they're passionate about this show. But one thing I'm not going to let you do is call in and make this show a fucking joke. Don't ever call in to talk to us in regards of some stuff you just made up before you called. <laughs> Nobody cares. Let me tell you something, bro. If you are a man and you move the right way, the, most of these questions will be answered for yourself. Mm. There's no way that that no other man should dictate what you do in your life. Mm. Right. Sushi, do we understand? Hey, Mr. Logario, save me. This uh, thing, no, have a have a good. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Bro, Locario, did you really call a, another man's name to save you, bro? Yo. Is that what we saying right now? Yo, Sushi, to answer your question, go out by yourself like you've been doing. You, you don't need a wingman. All right, all right bro. Bro, yo, y'all killing me right now. Uh, take bro, care, take care. Bro. Thanks for calling in the show. Thanks for your support. Appreciate uh, it. If this if right. this ain't the best show on YouTube, I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> <All right. laughs> All right, five eight six five eight six. You're on live with the real game, no theory panel. What's up? Yo, what's going on? What's up, uh, EO? Uh, what's up, brother? Yeah, everybody else. Hey, man, I got a question for the guy. Um, don't know his name, the one with the bald head with the uh, shade. Yeah, what's I up? I saw a video, man, of you last week talking to this uh, white supremacist, man. He called you the N word. Wait, 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 sir, 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 sir. What does that have to do with you? What does that have to do with you? Nothing really, man. Then why do you get wait, 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 then, wait, wait, wait. Then why do you wait? Then why why don't you tell me about a squirrel that ran across the street yesterday? Do you want to talk about that? Oh wait, do you want to talk about a deer that followed <laughs> around in the, in the day? Why the fuck are you? You understand you around with men, so please, they're gonna eat your ass alive. I'm trying to save you. So the best thing you might want to do is ask a question about you. <laughs> because what is it, Steve, I'm, I'm curious, Steve. Let me ask the caller. So what? Okay, so caller, what about what about the video? What about it? Caller, what about the video? Caller, caller, what about the video? I mean, the way you handled it, man, it, it was crazy. I thought that you would have handled that a lot better. You know, let somebody. You thought? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, wait. Let me ask the caller question. How'd you hear about the video? Where'd you see it at? Oh no, no, because I don't. I mean, no, I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. No, 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 I want to ask. Where, where did you see the video specifically? Yeah, video on you. 
Where? Where did you see this video? Huh? I see Alpha Romy. Alpha Romy did a uh, Alpha Romy. You know, you know, Doctor B O A. Okay, so now, okay, okay, so now you saw. Hold on, wait, wait. So you saw the video that Mouse put up on his channel on somebody else's channel, correct? Yeah. Okay, now I'm asking you a question. Do you understand game? No. Say no. Yeah, please. Okay, no, no, you don't. Because what happened is Miles, and I'm, I'm just, I just, because I think this is hilarious. Miles on purpose clipped the video and put white man checks black man on something, something. So Miles did it on purpose because he knew all of the goofies was going to make response videos to it, talking about, yo, how you let that white man say that? You understand what I'm saying? He did Sucker. that on purpose. Sucker. You know what I'm saying? For you, that, dumb that, video on Miles's, that video on Miles' channel got like at least 12,000 views on it as we speak, and it's circulating around. So that was done on purpose. Do you understand that? But if you had game, maybe you would have saw that. Right, exactly. So this, that's what I'm saying. You don't understand why it was done. That call in, man. Say that again? I said I got plenty of game. I'm not like these suckers that call. Wait, wait, wait. If you had game, you why would you call? Why would you call? Why would you call in and ask for what's going on with another man? I don't understand. Wait, wait, wait. If you had game, why are you worried about another man? If you had game, how come you didn't peep the game that was going on in the video? What? It just pissed me off, man. It just pissed me off. Oh, you were you were see if you understood the game that wouldn't have pissed you off. Using his feelings, so you don't have games. You have using your fucking feelings. So do you bleed once a month? Do we need to make some man maxi pads? What, what's going on? You in your feelings? <laughs> no, no, sir. You said you was in your feelings. You no. felt some kind of way, so he was in your feelings. No, I, mean, I mean, men gonna get pissed regardless, man. I mean, no, no, men don't get pissed. We walk. <laughs> fuck hey, I don't know what kind of men you hang out with, but none of these guys on this panel don't get pissed. Fuck you talking about. Yeah, I don't even know why we're entertaining this. <laughs> let me uh, let, let me ask this caller a, qu a quick question. What you think? What you lost, nigga? Yo, fuck it. Go ahead, e. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, it's all right, man. Hey, caller, let me just ask you a question, man. Let's say, for example, there's two games going on uh, right now. There's the peace game, and then there's the chaos game, and right. somehow somehow they bump heads. Should the peace game enter the chaos game, or should he stay where he's at? It all depends on where you at, man. It all depends. Sometimes you got to go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Do something to somebody. No, I mean, no, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. No, no. That, that's, that's, that, that's, uh, that's incorrect. I'm going to tell you why that's incorrect. Because if a person decided to be part of the peace game, he's not worried about the chaos game. Mm. 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 Damn, he stopped that. Throw the towel. I guess. I guess. I guess. You guess? Yeah. Uh, see, call her. Call her. Game. Look, 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 call her. If you, if you call her, if you, if you pick the title of the show, we're talking about congruence. What he said is absolutely correct. As a man, if you're, once you choose a side that you're going to be on and how you're going to live your life, you don't give a fuck what goes on around you. Thank you. You mm -hmm. stay solid. You stay right. rooted in what you're right. doing. But you worried about other men. Yeah. Are you I, I try to put it in the simplest terms so people can understand. It's like, look, if you made a decision to be something, then be that. Then be right. that. And whatever's happening on the outside of you. Now, now look, could somebody bang on your door? Could it be a nuisance? Uh, could it be a disruption to your game? It certainly can, uh, but you but you have to let it be that. You know mm. what I'm saying? You got to let it be that. And then you, you have to build it. a certain level of armor to your door that no matter how much they bang, they can't get in. Mm -hmm. So, Carly, you, you got any more uh, questions? You want to know his phone number or something? That was it, man. I just thought, okay. it, was, I just thought it was wild. All right. Well, thank, well you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. for Thank you for supporting the uh, the viral video that I set up to become viral. I appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> you kill, get your bitch ass and learn some game, motherfucker. Get your ass up. <laughs> yo, yo, 305, 305, you are on live with the Real Game No Theory panel. What's up? <clears throat> what good coaches? I just want to say what's up. Um, what? I'm from Miami. Uh, it's a good Sunday. It's Sunday, you know. I'm glad to be here. I had an opportunity to talk to y'all. Um, I, I just want to throw this out there real quick before I make my point because I, I want to keep it short and sweet. Is um, I'm 28, and uh, I've been through some stuff. I've been, you know, through some shit in the past with the ex and stuff like that. But you call it, call it, call it. They're going to get call it, call it, call it. Call it, call it. Call it, call it. They're going to get on you. Just ask your question. They're going to say if they want to know something from you, they're going to ask later. So just Ask your question. <laughs> all right, all right. I got you. My question is this regarding game. Game, all game, no theory. Um, so me, 
and my friend got different avenues of game or different theories of game or sorry different games for example i use the if a girl's in my vicinity and she's looking at me um have a feeling she's interested i go talk to her my boy uses the if i'm with a girl i'm out in the vicinity somewhere i'm okay, okay, wait, wait. what is your question I like to raise interest call, her. call her what the fuck is your question because you're talking about another man <laughs> Go ahead. Thank, thank you, Art, for the super chat. Thank you, Art. The best, the best, the best theory or the best game for someone that, for example, approaches women. But so, so, so let me ask you this, caller. I think I know what you mean. You, you're asking about styles inside of game. Is that correct? Yes, styles. There you go. Okay. All right. So, so what I will tell you is, uh, how how has your style been working for you? Mm. For, for me personally, mine's been pretty good just because. Okay, I, so I, so I, hey, I, hey, so look, let me let me just tell you this, man. If you're successful at what you're doing, why break what's not broken? Yeah, and why are you worried about what your friend's doing? Thank you. Let, let, me, let, me, let me say this, caller. Oh well, the reason Wait. the reason for the reason for that is because um my friend he has his style, and he talking about his style, but not really working for him. Why do you give a fuck? Why do you care? Like, what you <laughs> look, 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 call her, call her, look, real quick. If me and LaCarrie went out, right, and we out together, we got we two different individuals, two different styles, right? There might be some similarities, but we're two different men. Right. And and and, and I'm bagging bitches left and right, and he having trouble. I'm not going to be like, damn, dog, what's going on with you, man? Right. Yeah, you, maybe you switch them to do what I'm doing. My thing is, I'm going to be like, look, nigga, I could pass you one if you want me to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she got homegirl. <laughs> hey, she got homegirl at the table, right. ready to go. <laughs> Yeah, you know I mean? right. yeah. All right. Why, why, why are you so invested in in your friend's style of game? If you getting what you want and you doing what you do, did did, did your friend ask you for help? Well, the reason why is he, huh? Yeah, he asked me he's like, "Yo, I see this is your style. That's not my style." But yes, he does ask for help. Yeah, so that's why I'm trying to help him because he's my boy. You feel me? But, but how can you help him when you ain't got no game? <laughs> Shout out to UG. Thanks, brother. Appreciate you, man. No, I'm saying his style. I'm saying his style. No, for him. I'm saying how can you help? What, 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 this is what I want to know. This is what I want to know. Because he called. Because you called in and you're saying that you have a different style from your friend. You're saying that he asked you about what you was doing. So did you help him? Did you assist him? Yeah, I did. I said, "Hey, look." Okay, so, 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 so then, what are you calling us about exactly, caller? What are you calling us about? What are you? What are you trying he to? Wants get? Validation. He wants validation. Um, like the styles, basically, the styles of the game. It's Why don't you be a real friend and tell him to go to real game? No theory and get right. out of it. Just right. be a real friend. Be a good friend to him. And you know, say, I don't I, know shit. I, I'm gonna have to do a video someday about it, man. I get some time, man. But I, I, I think men care about. Um, their friends entirely too much, and, and I'm I'm starting to really notice this from your brothers to your. I mean, do y'all understand that men are their own entity? <laughs> they, we don't we don't we don't have shared businesses. We don't like we we need to understand, man. We move differently. We look if he asks you for help, then you do what you can to get him help. Mm -hmm. But like women are nurturing. Women nurture without you even asking. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what that is? That right. is not a trait that we carry. So call her. Women caller? will bring women will bring you something because they see that your throat was cracky. Mm -hmm. Are you going to bring your 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 friend something uh, 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 something warm to drink because his throat was cracky on the couch? Hey man, your throat was cracky. I'm gonna go ahead and bring you this warm. Please <laughs> work, bro. Do you, do, you, do you understand? Do you understand, bro? Like we don't do any of these type of things. So call her. So if he if he asks you something, that's different. But you care in entirely too much. You care too much, bro. Where do you want to tell? You're him invested to in his life. So call her. Where do you want to tell him to go? Say what? go to right. real game, no theory, because I don't know game. I know. Bro, game. This, this type of stuff. He's bad for the brand, bro. Wait, wait, call her. I'm curious. What's your style? Um, because it's like cold approaching. I don't do cold approach. What is a cold approach? Wait, wait. What is a cold approach? What is that? Me and, and, wait, 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 sure. and I'm gonna approach. What's the difference between a cold approach, a warm approach, a hot approach, and a lukewarm approach? What does that mean? Yeah, and I got a question for him too. For example, if 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 for 
and tell him, my friend, he sees a girl he likes, he just goes up to her and talks to her. Uh huh. And what, and what do you do? What do you do when you yeah. see a girl you like? Yeah, yeah. I just go I just about my life. Cario. No, 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 I'm, I'm curious. What, if you see a girl you like, what do you do? If she's looking at me a lot, I'm gonna go approach her because that's a signal that she's interested. Oh, oh, so that's your style. So you you wait for women to to, to look at you first, and choosing, then you're choosing signals, choosing, choosing signals. signals. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. All right, now it's making sense now. So basically, he's calling us because he wants us to validate his choosing signal approach. Is that what, is that what it is? No, for example, my, my friend he does cold approach, but it's not really working for him. I don't want to say mine's the best because I'm not a coach. I don't know much about you know. You said it works good for you. You said it worked good for you, bro. Be proud of that. So how many how many um women you fucking with right now? Well, currently I'm in school, so I don't have a lot of time, but I got three. Okay, and all three of those girls, they, they looked at you and then and then you was like, Hey, what's up? Because you looked at me and then you got him. Yeah, pretty much, bro. Steve, Steve, you ready? Hold on, Steve. We got. Oh, wait, hold on, wait, 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 two seconds, two seconds. Hold on, I'm ready. ready. Three, two, one. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god, stop fucking lying. Call her. Stop it. Listen, man. Um, look, just do do what you do, and let your friend do what they do, and you'll be fine. That's that's it. And stop touching them when y'all have sleepovers. <laughs> Hey, caller, do, hey, hey, call do something for me real quick. Say, Coach EO, what kind of game do you run? I'm going to show you something real quick. I'm going to show you some dope-ass shit. Just ask me that question. Hold on. Hey, Coach EO, what, what type of game do you run? It begins and ends with the man game. Drop my... <laughs> Hey, and, and, and let me also fill you in on something. This is just me speaking for myself. Since I run that game and I'm successful as a motherfucker in that game, I don't care if there's tricking game going on, cold approach mm -hmm. game going on, choose a signal game going on, mm -hmm. uh, flashy game going on, Miami game going on, New York City game going on, Russia game going on. I don't give a fuck what other game is going on. Y'all have fun in your game. I've settled into and decided the game that I play is the one I created, which is it begins and ends with demand. And I am thriving up in this motherfucker right now. <laughs> right. And caller, if the, the thing is this, if the if the choosing signals waiting for choosing signals is actually working for you, right? And it's really working for you, then you'd be just cool in that and then you just keep it pushing. But what happens is a lot of times when people have doubts in what they're doing, they're always looking for other situations or looking outside themselves, which is why you're worried about your friend. Because truthfully, what's happening is, is that you don't really believe in what you're doing, which is why you're so concerned about what your friend is doing, which is why you're calling us. You see what well, I'm saying? Me, you just want to confirm what you're doing as the thing that's going to be right. Call her. Let, let me let me let me tell you something. Well, you yeah, might not, you, caller, caller, you, you might not notice this, but you're actually giving women choosing signals. I need you to know that because if you're staring at a woman to see if she's staring at you, you're the first one that noticed her. That's what you're gonna notice though, like if you're walking somewhere, you're in peripheral. But, you, but, you, but you're giving her two the signal, caller. You but, gonna see your mom. I don't know. I'll be, I'll be thinking, I'll be thinking everybody noticed me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I really, I really believe that wherever I go, everybody's noticing me. I, I, I really feel that in, in my soul. Caller, you're taking. Hey, and, 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 and to that point, signal. go ahead, Steve. I'll go after you. I was gonna say something to that point. That's important. Yeah, you're, you're mistaken choosing signals for work. What you guys have to understand is when you go to a place where they're selling something, they have to smile and be pleasant and talk to you. They've got to act like they're interested in you to sell whatever they're marketing to you. So don't think because she's smiling, telling you you look cute in that $500 shirt or this cologne that she's really interested in you. She's running game on you to get paid, motherfucker. <laughs> okay now now and i and i like what 19 said notice how he said i think i i think everybody's looking at me okay <laughs> hold on call let me just tell you something real quick and i'll throw it to you uh 19 said i think everybody's looking at me so part of his game is telling himself that whether it's happening or not mm. is really irrelevant 
because mm. he's telling himself everybody is looking at me. So he's running that game. Now, if if I if I got a camera on 1950 and I'm and I'm trying to prove his his theory that everybody's looking at him, we might find out that that very few people are looking at him or a lot of people are looking at him. We don't mm -hmm. know that, but inside his mind, this is, this is the game he's running that everyone is looking at me. Mm -hmm. Right. right. So hey, it don't matter. And so it doesn't matter who I talk to at that point. Like, exactly. <laughs> I'm approaching them all the same. Guys, right. click that button right there and subscribe to the Real Game No Theory because that's going to be launching pretty soon. I forgot. We have got to tell them about that. For the Red Game yeah. Network. Yeah, make sure you guys yeah. the channel. Yeah, right. All right, caller, you you good? Yeah, I got you. I understand. I see where you guys are coming from. All right, okay. peace, 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 bro. All right, take it easy. And, and stop stop caring about signal. him so much, man. Let's stop, go, stop go. rubbing your stop rubbing your homeboy on the back, man. Bringing him <laughs> vegetable soup when he's sick and shit. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, six one three, six one three. You're on live with the real game, no theory panel. What's up? <laughs> he bringing a cup of Nyquil and some hey, bad and shit. <laughs> <laughs> the little, hey, little with some more milk. <laughs> yeah, 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 we hear you. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, okay. Well, I have two small questions. I'm gonna make it quick. Um, one, Mr. Lacario, why do you hate on my nigga Myron Gaines? And two, Who? uh, like, who's Myron Gaines? Listen, cut this fool off. He's trying to start bullshit. Myron, who, who is who is Myron Gaines? That's 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 uh from Fresh and Fit. Myron is my boy. We're actually friends in real life. So what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, he, he already cut him off. I already cut him yeah, off. Yeah, he's, he's stupid. But anyway, right, two, 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 four. I like how, my, I, I like how uh, 19 don't be knowing anything about it, anything <laughs> but himself. Uh, I love that it, shit, bro. man. That's you're like, it, who bro. the fuck is this dude? I, I didn't know that. who that was. Dude, that, uh, dude, yeah. that is a man that's focused on himself right there. That's right. right. Yeah. Uh, two, two, four. You're on live with the Real Game No Theory panel. What's up, man? Oh, hello. Hi. Uh, yeah, I donated on the cash app. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Okay, okay, so I have three questions. So the first question, I, I've called in a couple times. I've never called in, like, on the, like, panel show. I've always called in on the solo ones, but I actually caught this one. So my first question is, I've had this situation that's been coming up when I've been interacting with women lately, where it's, like, um, in the initial, like... Hey, initial caller, hold on a second. Caller, hold on a second. Yeah, guys, right. let's not do any of this kind of stuff right here, please. Let's not disrespect Yo, keep, other content yeah, keep the on names the out the chat, guys. No, don't let's do that. not do that. Let's not do that. They're not here to defend themselves. Don't Don't do that. Don't do Go that. Ahead, Don't call. put no names in the chat, guys. You will be timed out or kicked out. Don't do that. What's your question, caller? What's your first question, brother? Okay, yeah. So um, so I've been having a situation where it happens sometimes where like women like off rip or just like do something disrespectful, like um, like in to like give an example, like they'll right, be, sorry, wait, wait, you don't need to give an example. Yeah, 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 that's it. We don't yeah, even yeah, need first, another answer. Your, your first your first answer, your first question is go to the 122 minute mark and listen to your voice and see why they do that. Go to the next question. All right, second question. Second question. Go ahead. Um, yeah, okay. So then my second my second question is tips for like with the girl who I haven't gone all the way with, but like they like are like coming back. All the way. Oh, going all the way. What the fuck is going all the way? How old are you? Seventeen, mother? What, you, what is all the way? <laughs> what the fuck is going all the way? We we be baseball like first base, second base. No, like I may have made out or maybe like you know done something like that. I I, I don't I don't I never knew what made out me. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, caller, caller. I think I think I'm I'm already seeing your, the issue with you. The the problem right is that. Overall, women don't necessarily find you sexually attractive, and part of it could be basically your energy, because this is what Steve was saying: is to listen to your voice. You understand? Women, uh, Carly, you gotta understand this: women have a good filtering system, meaning women get approached and talked to by guys all the time. So they say, "Okay, is this guy? Does he know how to talk to women, or does he not know how to talk to women? Is this guy confident, or is he not confident? Is this, you understand what I'm saying? So they can tell that a lot of times yeah. when they're interacting with you. So you're probably dealing with women who they see you and they're like, okay, he's okay. He's good for right now. I'm not really that attracted to him, but I'll just have him here for the time being until I meet the guy I actually want to be with. So what happens is what game does is game can get you to the point where you're more attractive, which is going to make more women be sexually attracted to you, which is where, you know, the, the disrespect that you're getting, <laughs> you understand? Most of the disrespect is happening because they look at you, you understand? Like a guy that they can disrespect. A lot of times women hey. after that will do shit to or, or act a certain way to a guy because they see him as the type of guy that's not going to, you know, they don't they just don't see you as valuable at that point. And it just is what it is. Now, but go ahead. now call her. Call her real quick, real quick, Zag, real quick. So call her. Are you listening? Yes. Call her. 
Okay, so I want you to listen to yourself, and I want you to hear yourself, and I want you to th- I want you to think like a woman for a quick second. I want you to put yourself into a woman. Would you think that she would believe that you would that you would beat her shit up? Do you think, and for one second, that she believes that you would hit the bottom of of her? Do you understand what I'm saying? There there is absolutely no type of aggression base in your voice you need we need to get you we need to get you we need to get some some more confidence in you because even even with your voice like that there's ways to communicate to to make you more attractive towards women the way you the way you move the way you communicate you can really do it even with your uh little spongebob you got going on you get what i'm saying i'm dead serious bro i'm dead serious well let me let me add this call Real quick, I'm, I'm asking one thing, one thing, real quick. Hey, caller, uh, have you ever eaten a food before? And then when you taste it, you said, "Damn, I'll never eat that again." <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, are you worried about that food anymore? <laughs> no. The, then, so my question is: If there's a woman running aggressive um, attitude game, she has a reason for running that game. Okay, that she has a reason for that. Now she could be running that game with you, and she or she could be running it as a whole, or maybe there's a few people that that can uh, finagle their way in based on their energy and stuff. But my question is, if you don't want to spend your time with a woman running attitude game, why are you thinking about her? Like oh, I like smiling no. women. Like I like smiling women. So if I see a woman that looks like she hates herself, I'm not going that far with her. That's not the game I want to play. Let me um let me add this um off of 50's point and also off of what Nadia said. He won't even pick me up and flip me around. He's boring. See, and and Carla, let, let me tell you, when you have a conversation with a woman, she's gonna envision just that. The type of guy, if you have a very domineering, assertive person, yeah. very confident, she might think that he looked like he can pick me up and flip me around. Right. Yeah, like part yeah. of my, my part of my game used to be because I'm a big guy. I used to like to get in a space a little bit, oh, and, and and I used to like to talk. I used to like to talk down to them a little bit, mm-hmm. so they they can really feel it. I'm dead. I'm not even playing, bro. It was part of it's part. Of, it's like I I wanted to dominate her from the beginning, bro. Real well, let, talk. Me, let me let me add this. Let me add this real quick. Let me add this. Caller, um, I'm gonna pass it to you, Steve. When you yeah. hang up, I, w- I want you to do me a favor. I want you to do what uh, what Fifty said, but also I want you to look up the word passive and look up the word assertive. Read the definitions of those words, okay? When yeah. you deal with women, you should always deal with women uh, with an assertive behavior and also assertive tone. When you're very passive, that's akin to being a guy who's not very confident. Just think mm-hmm. about that. Yeah, I, I, to, I'm that, to that point, though, to that quick point, Steve, I'll, 10 seconds. Right. To that point, you could go learn how to be more aggressive or more assertive, and then another person that doesn't like assertive games is going to reject you. So you so so this is why it's important that you never leave the door you're in. That room you decided to go in, stay congruent in that room and only accept the energy that is fitting for that room because you can go and learn how to be aggressive or assertive or more dominant or whatever. But then there's gonna be a bitch that's like, I don't like that kind of shit. So then what mm-hmm. you're gonna go in your feelings and then leave that door now? You're gonna say, Oh, fuck this room. I don't wanna be in this room. I'm gonna go back to the indirect passive game room. You gotta stay in the room you're in and run that shit and then run that shit right. Yeah, I want to ask you a question real quick. And I'll use like, e, oh no, like ease cope. Let me ask you a question. Are you a student of the game? Yes or no, sir? Yes, I've been. Uh, then, then who is your teacher? Up reading up. Who, who, who is your, no, not, not okay. actually reading up. That's not even being a student of the game. What mentor on this panel are you being tutored by? Tutored. Who are you getting tutored by? Coach Arnold. <laughs> not, no, 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 no. Who, who, who is your mentor, sir? Who, who is who is your sensei? Well, I mean, like in terms of the videos that I watch, I, watch I don't. Like, I didn't ask. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm trying to do kindergarten. Okay, so are you on the bad boy membership, or are you getting coaching from Lucario and Mal? Miles? Yes or no? No. Then what the fuck do you mean? You're- why do you ask? Why do you ask how to do open heart surgery and one in a one word answer? You're not a student of the game, and this is why you're losing because you're lazy as fuck. 
and you don't want to learn game because you rather take your money and spend it on a goddamn OnlyFans than spend it on one of these men here that can help your fucking weak ass out. Does that make sense? So now let me ask you one more time. Are you a student of the game? No. There you go. Best answer you had all day. <laughs> all right. All right. So what's, all right. Your uh, what's your third question? You said you had three questions. Yeah, you had a third question. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So um, it was basically like after setting up a date with the girl, like I like I'll set up a date in person or something like that. Like I'll make like direct plans or something like that. Like, but um, how do you like confirm without sounding like you know Jesus like you're Jesus. used to being flaked on her and all that stuff? Because like oh. I I set up a plan like, but it's like for a couple of days out in the future, and I don't know exactly how to like still be like, hey, you're doing this tonight or whatever. Just reminder type thing. All right. Uh, what what I do is I let her know after I set up the date and she says, OK, sounds good. I let her know, like, say today's Tuesday and the date is for Friday. I let her know I will contact you Friday around midday to reconfirm our plans. And I do just that when okay. Friday comes, I hit her up. I, I hit her up between 11 and 1 p.m. And I say, are we still good for our I say, are we good for tonight? I don't use the word still. I say, are we good for tonight? She replies yes. And then we meet that night. All right. Okay. All right, All right, take it easy. You. Get on a bad boy membership or something. Get, go to the game. North Carolina. You need help. Stay away from Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, call it. All right, call it. Take it easy, man. Thanks for calling in. Man. All right, uh, four six nine, four six nine. Oh, and shout out to Ricky Webster for the five dollar super chat. He says appreciate appreciate this knowledge. Props do. Uh, four six nine. You're on live with the real game. No three panel. What's up? Four six nine. Hello? Yeah, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, brother? Yeah. Hey, uh, so I, uh, a little embarrassing, but I have a, a small manhood, and it's something kind of I always struggle with, to kind of break free and kind of become the man I want to be, you know? Oh, uh-huh. wait, 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 wait. Can you clarify what do you mean, the small manhood? What does that mean? Bro, no, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear no measurements, bro. Don't, don't, don't say no measurements. Don't do that. <laughs> don't, don't do that. Uh, <laughs> No, no, L, you set it up. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to understand. You know, what are okay. you talking? Biggie's saying is Johnson. So, sir, my question <laughs> yeah. is, yeah. who? Is, okay, my pro, your problem is because you don't have. I know you don't have one of us to teach you. See, what you guys don't understand is when you connect with a woman on a mental and emotional level. That it, mm. to the, it, you can have the smallest dick in the world. You can have the, the smallest body, and it'll be the best sex ever because there's a mental connection with you, and that's where a lot of you guys go wrong. You have a small mm. dick, so you just gotta accept you have a small dick. Yeah, there's okay. women out here that scissor. They yeah. scissor, so <laughs> and, and get off. You know what I mean? Right, right. They're scissoring yeah. and getting off. So, bro, like, why are these men? I, I, I'm I'm lost, right, man. Call it, call Step call your call game call up. up. Let, let, me, let me let me let me say this, caller. You know you can make a chick come with your thumb. So 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 if you if you're working with a thumb or, or a little bit better than that, bro, you can make it work, bro. <laughs> yeah, index finger is pretty long, I assume. Yeah, well, caller, you can invest in a dick sleeve. You, you, you can go to the pawn shop and get you a dick sleeve. I have never been able to. Break no, no, here you go. Get one of these, buddy. <laughs> hey man, Steve got it on deck. Steve got it on deck, though. What are you doing with that on deck? What are you doing? <laughs> my man, my, bro, my, my, my bro, my bro had that on deck, and it, and 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 it's matching the shirt color. <laughs> Yo, call her, call her, call her, call her, call her. Listen, oh, bro, listen. oh, bro, man. Hey, YouTube, about the, YouTube, oh, YouTube need to pay us for this, dog. This is, call her, listen, call her, listen. The, the issue that you're dealing with is something that, is that requires uh, a certain amount of uh, mindset shift, and you really need to get with a coach, really need to get with one of us. The, the answer to your question is to go to Real Game yeah, No Theory and to really get with one of us. I mean, the short, but the short answer to your question is that the game is about mind. Game is about mind. Game is about what's inside. Mm-hmm. You understand? Too many times we attach our worth to something that's outside of us, and and that includes our physical body. Mm-hmm. You understand? So you, so that's where you need to shift. But the thing is, go to Real Game No Theory dot com and get with one of us, and we'll coach you through it. All right, bro. On deck, baby. We'll do, brother. All right, Appreciate take it man. easy, man.
Hey, uh, another thing, guys, make sure you get your testosterone checked out, man. Uh, I never seen so many men in their 20s with such low testosterone. Mm. And, so, and so, so make sure you go and get your annual checkups. I would even suggest maybe every six months, especially yeah. if you got insurance. It's the, go in, it's in the and food, man. It's in this yeah, food. It's, it's the food, it's the environment, it's environmental. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it's also your mindset, as Miles alluded to, everything starts here and then it sends a frequency to the body. Uh, yeah. Yes. So, uh, so make sure that you you correct your mindset and get focused on what game you really want to play. And two, make sure you're healthy. You're eating quality foods. Yeah, right. but like you say, what you, you, um, Fifty was saying, if the women can scissor and come, what does your size yeah, right. matter? It really don't matter that much, right? right? Yeah. Uh, four but, one two. His problem is, is pro his problem isn't that. It, it's just how he feels about himself. Right. How he exactly. feels about himself. That is the problem. That's the number. That is the. Problem. That is the problem. One hundred percent. Too much porn. They watch too much porn. And, and, and they see all this other shit going on, and they're like, "Damn, I wish I was packing like that." And then when they deal with women, and, and the women and the women don't respond to their penis like they see in porn, they're like, "Damn, if only I was like five or six inches bigger, I'd be all right." right. All right, uh, four one two, four one two, you are on live with the real game, no three panel. What's up? Hey, I suppose I can call back because uh, uh, I got scared and I didn't ask the real question. Okay, what's your question? Go ahead, go ahead, quickly. I got scared. <laughs> yeah, how, 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 how do I handle this cold weather? Like, uh, you know, I got COVID last time uh, I went out. Hey, man, hey man we, gotta, we can't allow this. <laughs> we can't allow this, bro. Oh, go ahead. I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious, but we cannot right, allow this. Right, uh, sushi, dress warm and wear a mask. Peace, bro. <laughs> All right, um, all right, two two four, two two four. You're on live with the Real Game No Theory panel. What's up? Good morning, gentlemen. It's been a rough morning for y'all, man. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. What's up? Uh, I got got a quick question. Um, and it pertains to uh the title of uh, this show. Okay. I've noticed. Um, okay, if you stay yourself at your core, like who you are at your core. Mm. Don't you sometimes have to make certain adjustments in different situations and around certain people? No. No. No, I, I, I say in a, in a professional environment, my language changes. Yes. Okay, okay, cool. No, because no, the thing is, the thing is, Carly got to understand is different sides of you. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. still all you. So if I'm chilling with, with, with my boys, I might talk a certain way. And then I'm chilling with my grandma. I might not have the same type of, you know, language or my, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 <sighs> You know what I'm saying? But, but what I'm saying is it's still all facets to you now. What happens is, is that the funny part is you're the one who knows when you're not being yourself. You're the only one who knows this. You understand what I'm saying? So sometimes what will happen is that you right. know when you're being fake or you're switching up or you're doing this that you really wouldn't do. Right. But understand in any situation. Right. Understand that you're going to pull out different sides of yourselves and all those sides of yourselves are actually you. And then you know if that side of the thing you're pulling out, <laughs> that side of you're pulling out isn't you. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, caller, let me ask you a question. If you're a beer drinker, do you go to wine tastings? <laughs> For real? <laughs> no. So, it, 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 again, it comes back to you running your game strategically and you don't put yourself in environments or around other people that you won't thrive with. OK, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I, it's, just, it's something I'm going to have to continue to teach and pound this home is that it, it, you, this is why a lot of men are confused. They go to they come to the manosphere. They find the red pill, black pill, purple pill. Uh, um, alpha pill. male, sigma male, beta male, all this stuff. And they're trying to be all of these things. And it's like, at some point, you're going to have to decide, like, yo, I'm going to run this game. I'm going to run the bad boy membership game for a year. I'm going to run the man mindset game for a year. I'm going to run the it begins and ends with the man champion game for a year or the 1950 game or the Miles Cunningham game or the yep. Zagging game. And so this is why I say this. This was going to be my closings you know, piece, but I'll say it now. This is why I tell you, if you hire me, I don't want y'all watching nobody else. Mm -hmm. it, it will be, it, it's not fitting for my program. And mm -hmm. if you're if you're gonna hire uh, anyone else outside of me, don't watch me. I don't suggest you watch me mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. if you watch me and then go and go back to your coach, I'm fucking up your pro your coach's program and your progress. Mm -hmm. right. and so this is why I tell you, you gotta decide to be consistent at something for a while. I'd had to tell a client of mine just a few days ago, bro, what you doing in that chat room, bro? 
over there mm-hmm. commenting like you just demoted yourself a, about six months going in that chat room talking like mm-hmm. that. That's facts. And, 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 because I actually monitor all my clients. It's in my best interest to know what my clients are doing. I need to know if you're congruent, motherfucker. So and, and so that and I and I call out my clients on that shit. So I'm like, yo, you got no business being over there. You're fucking up my whole program being over there. And look, they don't disrespect me. But I mean, I, I tell them straight up, and they just say, hey, listen, man, I was just going over there to show some support. Hey, bro, you need to support yourself and in this program that we're doing. When we're done with this annual, I don't give a fuck where you go. <laughs> you know what, yo, that's 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 a solid point because. If you're learning martial arts, you can't go to three or four different teams at the same time. Mm-hmm. They all right. got completely different styles, right. different disciplines. Yes. You're going to fuck up whatever you learn for six months, and you go to a new dude, you're going to fuck up everything. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, even really even, 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 even religions. Even yeah. religions, yeah. man. Right. If you're learning a religion, mm-hmm. you, you can't you can't go all of these other religions and think you're going to learn one. Right, because right. me and Miles, we did, we did a show the other day called The Seven Types of Dating Coaches. And it was like, this is the reason why guys get confused is because we'll tell them something. They'll be like, but I saw so-and-so said this, but then you said that. I mean, I'm like, bro, this is why you fucking up because you're not focused. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. You're not focused on one way to, to, to get shit going. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, now, caller, you, you have another question, caller? No, that was all, fellas. All right, appreciate you, man. Yeah, I, I, I will say Let this. me give some game real quick to some to content creators. This is another reason why I call them game thieves because... <laughs> Honestly, I don't watch a lot of content creators because naturally, if I were to watch someone a lot, their mm-hmm. ways and their mindset's gonna rub off on me, and and mm-hmm. I, I don't want that shit. And that's not part of my game, so I don't even watch mm-hmm. a lot of content creators. I might go in to to scope out to just to, just to kind of know to see if any of my clients are in there. If I don't see my clients in there, I bounce. Okay, but mm-hmm. if I see my clients in there, I'm like, all right, I take a mental note, or I might take a physical note and say, all right, I'm fucking February second. This <laughs> motherfucker was sitting in here saying this bullshit right here and just right. fuck my shit all up and i'm gonna bring it to his attention so mm. and this is another why reason why content creators are some fucking copycat phonies they're too busy <laughs> watching what other people are doing and not yeah. focusing on their fucking game mm-hmm. that's real talk Hey, Zach, and you got something? Oh, my bad, my bad. Damn, I lost my train of thought. Y'all fucked me all up. <laughs> all, right. all right, so um, uh, 248, 248, you are on live with the Real Game No Theory panel. What's up? 248. What up, fellas? How you doing? All right, Thank what's up, man? All right. Um, I just, I just wanted to show y'all some love because what, you know, one of the things that I finally realized after a number of years, because, you know, I had a mentor that I stuck out with for five, six years. And, you know, staying focused and learning what you need to learn. The fact is, and I think a lot of these guys don't get this, is that y'all ain't trying to turn them into them. But at the end of the day, all you're doing is showing them, yo, we tapped into the source. And you need to learn how to tap into that source for your damn self. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, you kind of, you learn who you are. And you learn who you are. Mm -hmm. It's going to take the shape of whoever the fuck you are. And once that source takes over you, bruh, that energy starts to grow inside of you. And you are unstoppable. Well, call, 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 let me say, say this real quick. Here, here's the problem. I talked about this before, and, I, and I'll sum it up real quick. And all you guys, there used to be this show called The Karate Kid. They had two versions of it, okay? So, and I just talked about this before. Daniel's son wanted to learn karate, okay? But to Daniel's son, karate was kicks and punches. He goes to Miyagi. He asked for help. Miyagi, he asked for Miyagi to teach him karate. Miyagi gave him two towels. He said, I want you to go clean all these cars then wax off, then wax on and clean him up. Mm -hmm. Because Daniel didn't understand what game was. Daniel thought he was actually cleaning cars. Then Daniel started questioning his mentor because he thought what game or karate was or what we're showing his game is, was just kicks and punches. But Mm -hmm. see, when you become a student of the game, you got to learn how to shut your fucking ass up and learn because you don't know what you don't know. And this is the problem with a lot of these guys out here. They think they actually know something, but they know nothing at all. So mm. when Miles or uh, EO or 50, Lucario, uh, e, all these guys, Zag, all these men out here try to tell them something that goes outside of the beyond of their thinking, mm. they want to question it because they're like, I want women. But we're trying to say in order to get the woman, one must know the core of himself to do that. So it's it's deep like that. So that's where a lot of guys go wrong, man. That's why, and I'll say this, caller. That's why I call. That's why when, when dudes say, "Oh, you don't need game, you don't need game, or you playing games," 
No, we all tell you game is, is about manhood. Mm. Okay, period. It's about knowing who the fuck you are and, and always representing yourself. Yes. When you fuck with anybody. It's that first because all that, you know, once you have a, a, a foundation as a man, it all trickles down. Anyone that you come into contact with, it trickles down from there. The problem with guys, they think game is all about pussy and women. No, the fuck it ain't. Facts. All right. All right. Call him, man. Thanks for thanks for calling in. Thanks for sharing the love, man. Appreciate you. All right. Absolutely. Y'all take care. All right. Take care, bro. <clears throat> all right. We got a uh, 734. 734. You are on live with the Real Game No Theory panel. What's up? Hey, yeah, I just want to keep it quick, man. I called earlier. The guy with the gun, whatever, man. But I just want to call back as a man. And just tell y'all, hey, I apologize for getting disrespectful. And I actually stayed on and listened to you guys. 1950, um, EO actually said something that he wanted to say to me that really stood out. So uh, I'm going to be in the process, man, of signing up, um, getting coaching from you guys. But just want y'all to have a good Sunday, man. And, uh, you know, for anybody who uh, listens to y'all, man, y'all the real deal. So just wanted to apologize as a man. Hey, respect to you, man. Respect. Yeah, 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 respect. It takes a lot. It takes yeah. a lot to really yes. dig inside and self-reflect, man. So I appreciate you calling, man. Right. And also, if you if you want to get coaching from me first, go get therapy because I'm not going to coach you in, until you get therapy first. That's facts. That's right. <laughs> you know I'm saying so. <laughs> just to let you know that right there, off the, off the he, he hung up. He hung up. Yeah. Right. Let him know. Cause <laughs> yeah. But uh, but but yeah, you know, uh, we you know, we we collectively accept the apology. And, you know, you know, that's a teachable moment, guys. Like, you know, that that caller knew that, you know, there was something in his character that was a little off. He called back, apologized. And, you know, that's something that men do. You understand? That's something that, that they understand their own mistakes. They don't really try to blame everything on everybody else. They can see where they went wrong and, you know, and 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 give attrition for that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, I, and, I like, and I like that he said, I apologize. Not that, yes. hey, man, I want to say I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> right. Like, like sorry is when you actually care about somebody's feelings. Right. You know what I mean? You say sorry to your mother. Right. You know what I mean? It'd be grown men saying sorry to each other, man. Right. Hey, man, I, I apologize. <laughs> My bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, real talk. That, that'd be some real stuff. I'll be like, man, why do you do saying I'm sorry, bro? Right. Like, I don't care about your feelings right. like that. How about this one, man? How about this one? Yeah. How about bye? <laughs> Bye. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> <That's ridiculous. laughs> hey, bro. That's what I'm saying, dog. The mannerisms, dog. Mannerisms. We yeah. got to change this out here, man. Uh, we are yeah. becoming we are becoming real vaginal with our with our with our language, man. I'm sorry to bother you, miss. I just wanted to say <laughs> <laughs> my, 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 biggest, my biggest one is crush. What niggas use the word crush? Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. I can't, I, can't, I can't stand that shit. Yeah, <laughs> man. Nah, you're on live with the real game of three panel. What's up? What's up, guys? Uh, I just had a quick question. Um, I was wondering how soon is it too soon to ask the girl to leave the bar or the club to go back to her crib to, you know, take things to the next level? Uh, how old are you, big guy? How old are you? How old am I? I'm 23. Okay. Do you actually think with the way you sound that she wants to even have you lick her pussy or even touch you? Yeah, I do. Then why don't you go ask her? Why then? Why are you calling us then? I have, I have a. Uh, I have yeah, a I just call her, call her. I have a question. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Turn, turn the YouTube down. Somebody need to turn YouTube down. Yeah. Call her, call her. Whatever you got playing. If you got us playing in the background, please put it on mute or turn it off right now, please. Right. All right. Go ahead, Zach. Okay, call her. Because you asked us the question. You asked how soon is too soon. Um, you do know that people have met and had sex the very first day or night they met, right? You get that? First five minutes of the conversation. First five minutes, right? You, you, you understand a lot of people have had sex, like like 50 said, a couple minutes conversation, they're both looking at each other, they lusting over each other, they go fuck. You, you understand that happens, right? Right. Okay, see, the problem is you don't have enough confidence to think that's possible for you. Mm, facts. Wait, wait, call her. Why don't you tell us what you say to the lady at the bar? You're at the bar right now. She's she's wiping down the fucking counter. Tell us what you're gonna say to her. Nah, I met her at the bar. Uh, How are you gonna get her to your place? Tell us what you're gonna say to get her to your place. I told her because we were. She started making out with me. She grabbed my face and she was like putting my hands on. He grabbed your face. Wait, 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 wait. You said she grabbed your face. (laughs) 
And I don't know, he said something else. Is that what he, is that what you say, <laughs> caller? So she grabbed your that. face. See, a lot of men don't understand, man. Let, let me tell you something. I'm, I'm going to tell you all this, man. They're, they're, women show aggression with emotions. When they, when they start showing with the physical touch, I'm telling you, man, that's an unbalanced. I don't like women grabbing on my face. man. I don't know what y'all men allow, but, man, y'all got to have some standards for yourself. <laughs> like, I probably would have snatched her whole arm and told her, man, what the <laughs> F are you doing? <laughs> I, look, 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 look. It, for you to believe that I'm going to allow you to do this to me, you must think I'm a bitch. But you know what? Exactly. And that's why she grabbed You know what I mean? He wasn't, he wasn't taking initiative to make something happen. Exactly. I, I, I ain't never had a woman grab my finger. Hey, no, no kiss good. should ever take place without a handful of ass anyway. All day long. Well, he, he, he said something well, else. I, I something else. Ass, well, call her, call her. You, you, you said <laughs> something else. Call her, you said something else. You said she grabbed sure. your hands and she put your hands where? <clears throat> No, when I was making out her, she grabbed my hands and put it on her breast. And while we was making out, she's let, let me tell you something. 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 Call her. Call her. Let me tell you what she's doing. She is saying, since you don't know what the fuck to do, I'm going to guide you. Exactly. That's, That's what the fuck she's doing. She is taking the lead. Bro, <laughs> when, when a woman takes the lead because you don't, now she might, she might fuck you, but she won't fucking respect you. Understand that. And call it. Did you, hey, so did, you yeah. did you smash this chick? What happened? No, he didn't. He wants to know how to do it. So you didn't smash, call it. No, 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 no. After, <laughs> after all that, I told her, yeah, yeah, yo, I'm not trying to make out with you all night. Like, oh, you said what? what? You said, what? You said, I don't what? know what making out is. It's, 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 it's been used a lot. Let me hear what he said. Go ahead, call him. Yeah, go, say that again, call him. I said, after we were, we were making out, I had my hand on her ass, then she took my other hand and put it on her breast. And why mm-hmm. don't that? She tried to put her hands on my pants. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Where did this happen? Yeah. Bro? You see the red card? He add no and do shit. Why don't you add the pants? He lying. He lying. He lying. Oh, hold, on. Hold, on. Hold, on. hold on. Hold on. Hold on. One second. Wait. Call her. The part, go get to the part where you said, I'm not going to make out with you all night. Just start from there. Yeah, I said, I'm not trying to make out with you all night. How, how, where do you stay at? And she's like, oh, I live a block away. I was like, all right, we should take this somewhere private because I'm not trying to make out with you all night. And she's like, uh, I don't know. My room is kind of dirty. I was like, man, that's cool. Like, I'm not tripping about that. Oh, that's a, that that right there would have told me to leave right there. I, 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 I This is what I'm saying. You men just allow fuckery to go on. You know what I mean? Like, how how is this woman in your... Let me just say something, man. Like, for one, there's no benefit. I don't, first of all, I don't know what making out is. So somebody get to tell me that in the comments. Matter of fact, Alexa, <laughs> what does making out mean? <laughs> Be me, bitch. Come on, you know. <laughs> Be me, bitch. I mean, really super old school. He's like, I don't know about none of this shit. Making out has been created in 1950 by these people. <laughs> Be me, bitch. So so what so what what'd you do after that, caller? This dude said, I'll fuck you on a little That's dirty ass cool. twin mattress. <laughs> 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 So what you do after that, caller? Have some standards. After that, she just kept saying, "She just kept saying, I don't know, I don't know." I was like, "Well, if you're not trying to do anything." Wait, 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 wait. caller. So how many times did you ask her? Yeah, she, she kept saying, "Did you ask her multiple after, times to go back?" That's the problem. You asked her. You asked, you you asked, asked her one, anything. Please. So you don't ask one. Well, but you, you you make the statement. Let's leave right now and go over here. If Let me tell it. Oh, oh, that. You, well, if you if you if you make if you tell her, well, let's go ahead and bounce it and get this popping over here. And she if she starts making all these excuses why she can't do it, bro, walk the fuck off. Why are you even talking to her at that point? If this man, really happened, yeah. I don't really believe it. But go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Let me say this. Sixty seconds, man. I was twenty one oh, years old when this shit happened, man. I went out on a Monday night in Chicago. I went to this place called the Green Dolphin because that shit was crazy on Monday nights. I saw this Indian chick dancing solo by herself. Uh, it's like very sexy uh, Indian chick dancing by herself. I walked where I told the story. I walked right up to her, pulled her hair back and said, I'm fucking you tonight. That was the, I didn't even say my name or nothing. I just said, I'm fucked 21. No game, no fucking Robert Green bullshit. None of that. I walked up to her and I said, I'm fucking you tonight. She said, oh, is that so? I said, yes. I said, come with me. Let's go get a drink real quick. We had one drink. My boy was with me. He drove. Um, 
We danced like for 10 minutes. I said, let's get out of here. She said, I only live a few blocks away. I said, bro, you're going to sit in her living room and while I fuck her real quick. He sat in a chair in the dark and shit. I fucked this girl I, in her room. I, I've been she the guy. Hit her head on a nightstand. Yeah. This bitch hit her head on a nightstand. I power bombed her ass, bro. So what I'm trying to tell, <laughs> I was fucking her like that, bro. Straight up, just jackhammered that motherfucker. So <laughs> what I'm telling you is, I was 21 <laughs> years old with about no <laughs> coaches and no Robert Greens and no nothing, bro. And I just told her what. No, Mr. Arnold. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, yeah. So oh, you guys got to, you guys got to start getting assertive. And, and where you fucked up is, you told her, "I don't want to, I don't want to make out all night." Yeah. What you should have yeah, said, I "Hey, listen, you. there's a little spot down the way, a little hotel. I'm gonna get us a room. Let's get out of here." Uh, you guys got to stop going to, to girls' houses, bro. Stop doing that. Mm-hmm. Later, mm-hmm. possibly, but at, right away, you don't even know who's in there. You don't know who's circling her place. Women are kind of sloppy. They keep men in the, in, the, in their back pocket, uh, as they call them, fucking orbiters. Never heard of no shit like that in my life. But you know, women have men that you know, ex boyfriends, people that they they use for attention and all this shit. And those guys are jealous. So never go on a woman's territory. Remember, part of your game is you're managing the entire thing. So you should have told her this is where we're going. I used to rent hotels by the fucking hour, bro. Oh, yeah. I used to keep a I used to keep an air mattress in the back of my Honda. Yes. Like I'm just trying to tell you, I used to have a, a, a automatic blow up air mattress, bro. We getting it in. We getting it in. I'm telling you right now, Carly. You gotta you gotta understand. See what happened in the situation is you still didn't realize or even know if she was really trying to fuck you or if she was just playing games because you could have suggested another spot. You said, okay, cool. We ain't going to your crib. Um, let's go to this bathroom real quick in this spot. You understand what I'm saying? Or let's go down to this hotel. And then if she was, re- you know, rejecting all that shit, then it's like, all right, you ain't really about it then. Right. right. Man, he, he, women, women do fucking his, public. His, his call dropped, by the way. Okay, cool, cool. But yeah, he, he just, you know. I, he, I, that's just amazing how you guys are tongue kissing these women, bro, and their room is messy. <laughs> this is why I always say, stop kissing these women, man. Like, I know I don't understand it, bro. I'm trying to tell you, man. There are ways to turn a woman on without kissing her, and a lot of y'all think that's the only way. I'm trying to tell you, bro. <laughs> Fuck six, that. Six one seven, six one seven. You're on live. Messy room and shit. Panel. What's up? How you doing, brothers? All right. What's up? Um, my question for y'all is more about uh how to better my life. Uh, so I find myself uh, very disorganized and I feel like that. All right, real game, uh, no theory.com, bro. You got to get what you got to get with one of us. You got to get a coach, bro. I, I, I know this guy. Uh, are you, are you going to be in coach by anybody on the panel? No. Nah, yeah, you really, you gotta, you gotta hit us up. Yeah, you got to hit us up, bro. Lucario will be knowing all the cast, man. Lucario. No, because he's calling with the same the same thing all the time. I'm like, bro, get coaching. But this, see, this is what happens. When you don't get coaching, so you get what you pay for. That's what you guys have to understand. Mm-hmm. If, you, if you're trying to get all the free shit, you're not, you're, things aren't going to go the way you really need to go because you actually need to get deeper understanding and that deeper understanding costs. You have to give to get. That's the way of the universe, people. You understand what I'm saying? Let me, let me, let me, let me add they're, this. They're too, old. they're too damn old not to understand. Okay, this is Ron, everybody. Okay? <laughs> now, Ron wants some apples. So if Ron wants apples, does he A, walk over there, B, look, or do C, all the above? Y'all are too goddamn old. If you need fucking help, stop saying you need help and go to Real Game No Theory and get the help. We, get the help. we really need a, Nef- we need a Netflix series, man. I'm telling you, man. We 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 need a Netflix series documentary. I'm telling you, dog. Because it, it, it's too many men. Like, I'm telling you, I always knew that there was a winner circle and a loser circle, right? But then when you when you actually when you actually see it live, yo, like you yo. <clears throat> you really see it live, man. It you see why they struggle. You see why men struggle. And I will tell you, men, it's okay to struggle, but it's not okay to continue to struggle. Mm, y'all yes. y'all got to get some help, man. Y'all got to get help in so many different areas. And it's okay. Man, when I first started my business, bro, it took me almost two years to figure out how I wanted to run it. I just didn't run down and get the license. 
I actually talked to people who was involved and paid them for their services. Mm. There's nothing wrong with that. I said, hey, man, hey, I don't know what you charge an hour. I got you. Just tell me how you lined it up. How did you do? And I came with a, a thousand questions on how I can be successful. I took some of what they did, took my idea and my smarts, and did it for myself after that. I thank those men. Right. We do business together now. They call and ask me how I do stuff now. Mm, right. So what I'm telling you is, you men got to start putting yourself in a position to become a winner. That's all I'm going to say, man. Right. We got a 661-661. You are on live with the Real Game No Theory panel. What's up? 661. Going once. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. What's up? Oh, yeah. Um, so um, I'll make this very smart. I even have a note here. Uh, by the way, excuse me for the language barrier. I'm from Vietnam. I'm telling you, so um, how do I motivate my girls to put more work in the project? I put her to work. So it's, it's my fault. I put in my girl to work, uh, aka graphic design project, because it's her main collect measure. It's my fault. She is a very sweet girl. Suck my dick on demand. Respect like how many men have to bother your money and treat you to suck my dick on demand. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I fucking love it. I love it too. I love it too. <laughs> hey man, I love that shit, man. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You go down. You know <laughs> <laughs> suck my suck my dick on demand. <laughs> go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> go ahead, man. That's a t-shirt right there. <laughs> I'm not sure how to motivate oh. her to finish the work. You said how to motivate her? If her can be turned out. Yeah, I don't know how to motivate her to finish work. She's sweet, but she can't hustle. She's sweet, but like, yeah, but 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 some women. I'm gonna tell you, man. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you, man. They're yeah. they're okay. So you you can teach some people some of the greatest techniques in the world, but that don't mean they will ever master it or be good at it. <laughs> so her area that you're trying to teach her may not be her strength. So you may need to be a great leader and delegate her to do other things which would benefit you in the long run. And then get somebody else to be in that position to be the master of that craft. Do you understand what I mean? I told hey, 19, 19. Let me ask you a question, 19. Hold on, let me ask 1950 a question real quick. Put Hold on, Carl. Let me ask 1950 a question. Did uh, Mike Ditka put refrigerator Perry in that wide receiver? <laughs> he did. <laughs> he No, he did throw the ball to him. Tight end, though. He did throw him in tight end. Yeah, 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 I know yeah. what you mean. Not though. I know what you mean. No, no, so, no, no. So maybe this girl is good for uh, sucking dick on command and like mm -hmm. scrubbing baseboards or some shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that. He's right. We get you gotta, hey man, hey, hey. The sign of a great leader is a sign to know that she, she maxed, she she maxed out her potential in this area. So exactly. now you have to move her to a different area, mm -hmm. motivate her, show her the skills, and have her master her craft. Right. Well, that's all game, man. That's right. all game. I'm I, I, I'm telling you. Right. And then maybe you don't have the girl who does the technical stuff. Call her, call her, hear me out. I'm going to be done with this after this. Then if you got a girl working well for you, don't fuck it up by making her, like, lick your balls if she don't want to lick balls. <laughs> so, like, if you got a chick licking balls, cool. Let her be the champion of the ball licking. Hold on, hold on, call, hold on a minute, bro. This is guys fuck up. If you got, if, then you get another chick. If she's doing, like, the technical stuff, the web design, whatever it is you want her to do, she's a hustler for you. Yeah, she don't suck good dick though. Don't try to make her suck good dick then. Uh, just, just keep her working and let her settle into that position. Meanwhile, you got the other bitch on command licking balls. Uh, call her. Look, look, right. you, you, you called in asking about motivation, right? You have to understand something about motivation. Motivation is not manipulation. Mo mm. Like when you when you motivate oh, someone, yeah. it's. It's it has nothing to do with you making them want to do something. Motivation is knowing like the, the, the motivator and the motivatee. Both of them are pretty much on the same page. Mm. The, mo the motivator is the one that just reminds the motivatee about the passion that they already have within them. 
Facts. It's just a reminder. Oh. Mm-hmm. So here's the thing. Don't don't think that motivation oh, is that you're inspiring something new inside the person. No, motivation is just a reminder of what's already inside them. So like 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 EO and 50 said, if she's not good at something, then then it's up to you as a leader to realize wh- who you're looking at. You have to know where to delegate which, you know, uh, 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 tasks and yeah. who's best to, to execute those tasks. Mm. That's, that's the res- responsibility of you on the leader. No matter how good your motivational skills are, you can't make a person who deep down doesn't really want to do something, do something and be good at it. Yeah, here's the problem. Hey, and my, and Miles, you can't open the door. One last thing, you can't open the like. Let's say you got a position already fi- uh, already filled. Now, now you might not want to open the door and let another one like that come in because that can cause a little bit of confusion. So, so if you got something already being accommodated, like for example, you ever heard a company say we're not hiring right now? They're saying they're not hiring because they ain't hiring. Every every uh, position has is filled. It's full. Mm-hmm. So if if one becomes available and vacant, then we'll consider you for that position. Right. So it's okay, important we, that even you're running it that way too. Yeah. Here's the thing with the caller. Caller. All right. Here's your Thank problem. You. Caller. 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 Here's your problem. She's not. She doesn't know that you're motivated enough to to change her out and leave. That's the problem. There's there's no thought of replacement with her. You see again. All these guys are right with what they're saying, but. What, why why should she why hey why should she suck your dick and clean a baseboard what is the motivation behind that because if you're if she doesn't know that other women are waiting in the waiting in the wings for her to fuck up then she's not gonna be motivated to do anything she's gonna just stay where she at you wonder why you're motivated to keep her ass around versus the other way brother and that's your mm-hmm. This. I'll say this. There's a difference between. Yeah, hold on, call it real quick. Hold on. There, 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 hold on, call it real quick. Hold on, call it real quick. Call it real quick. Hold on. There's a difference between I can't do that versus I won't do that. Mm-hmm. Okay? So, so, so you need to find out the is it that she just can't because she just she just she have the, the, the mental aptitude to do it or she won't do it. Because she's like, I ain't doing that shit for you. You know what I'm saying? So, so understand. Because to me, you know, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not one of them dudes that that, that like to be told no. You know what I'm saying? So, my thing is, if I'm asking you to do something, yeah. at least try that shit. You know what I'm saying? And at least see if you can be, you know, good at the shit first before you right. go. You ain't just gonna fucking tell me no, and we're gonna be cool. You know what I'm saying? Right. But anyway, yeah, I got it. Just because she won't do what you doesn't mean she won't do it at all. He's trying to say. Right. right. Exactly. Uh, and caller, you you have another yeah, question? Yeah, I got you. You have another question? Or are you good? Oh no, that's it. That's it. Like. I have more questions. I don't want to take more time. I kind of get everything, and I'm uh, going to... All right, cool, bro. Thanks for supporting the yeah. show. Thanks for your call, and good luck to you. Take it easy. Keep getting that sucked on demand. <laughs> um, um, I don't know if y'all wanted to get to any questions or anything like that, but you know, it's about their time. We can wrap it up. Yeah, let's, let's roll. Yeah. yeah. So, um again uh, you know I just you know I just want to say real quick um as as far as the coaching and 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 as far as in, integrity is concerned you know it's you know it, it it has to do with what's what's on on the inside guys you know your your mindset and what you truly believe about yourself right. and how you see yourself and what what we do don't think that you're going to call us for coaching and we're going to change you you understand the, that we're going to change the core character of who you are. What we're going to do is, and I think somebody mentioned eluded, or alluded to it um, earlier, is that we're going to help you to recognize the, 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 the main character of who you are and then help you to tap into how to utilize it to get what's best for you. You understand what I'm saying? We're going we're gonna to help you to recognize that and be confident within that. We're not trying to turn you into us. We're not trying to t- turn you into somebody else. You understand? We're, we're, we're trying to make sure that you know who you are and then everything will flow from there. So, you know, get with us at realgamenotheory.com. Get with one of us. You know what I'm saying? We really appreciate you guys. Appreciate the panel. Thank you guys for showing up like you always do. Real Game Network. Real Game Network, too. Oh, yeah, make sure you guys <laughs> network. Um, network. Back to the people in the chat. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, man, you guys got it. Hey, hey really quick, man. I want to <clears throat> I want to say this, man. I I, I always tell men especially older men. When I was younger, I could deal with some things, but you really, it's very difficult and hard to deal with women with emotional disorders. Mm. And it's not their fault a lot of times. So I always encourage men to understand all women are not good women. It doesn't matter 
what she appears like. If she's struggling with things, then you have to know that you're going to have to deal with that. Also, if something wants to happen where she couldn't take her medication, like there's, there's a lot of things. Mental health is nothing to be played with mm-hmm. men and women. And I, and, and it was displayed on the show. Mm-hmm. Like, I want you guys to really understand the, the, how deep that situation is for a lot of people. They have a lot of challenges. Mm-hmm. We as men are the leaders of our household. If you have a family, this is traditional. I'm and then I'm gonna get up out of here. If you have a family and you are recognizing something off with your kids, your woman, you are the leader. You have to make sure that the that the they're going to the doctor, they're getting treatment. Family therapy is okay. Like you guys got to make sure that you take care of the mental side of the game because if you don't. There are severe consequences for those who allow shit to happen on their watch and then complain about it after. So I want to say again, men, we lead everything. You're a man all the time, not just sometimes. This is Mission 1950, man. Yes, yes, Back. yes. And um, great yeah, segment, great segment. just make sure you guys get your dick sucked on command. Uh, <laughs> make sure that happens. Salt. Yes, I got it. He said it like he said it like he was. She was getting the salt. Salt. <laughs> uh, all women who suck dick on this. command, you are a keeper. Exactly. <laughs> you know what? I'll jump in real quick and make this sweet. Uh, it is not in your best interest to those that are listening to be bouncing around all over the place. Now I get it. Maybe just like anything, you got to shop around a little bit. You know, I was never the shop around type of person. If I like something, I buy that and I'm fucking done thinking about it. I don't sit there and look at three couches. Like, I don't know, honey. I don't know which one I want. Like, it's like, fuck that. That's the couch. Write it up. Like that is my, that has always been my personality. I'm not sitting there thinking about some mundane shit all day. Cause that's going to fuck up my, my game and my program. So what I advise you is look, if you're, you're new to this space or whatever, Listen to a few different people, but don't listen too long. You know, narrow it down to three and make a decision and sit and roll with that person, you know, and, and and only that person. And I know a lot of you might say, I don't know, I don't agree with that. Well, then you're going to be a confused man all mm-hmm. over the place. You know how many red pill I'm not, I'm going to say this. I'm not saying all red pill is bad because it's not. There's some good, there's some guys out there that are teaching that philosophy. And, and, and there's some benefits to it. So I will say that. However, I, a lot of the guys who co- who reach out to me, I got to clean up their fucking mess. They're like, yo, I was rolling with this red pill dude for a year. And now I got to go operate on this motherfucker. And he's like four stage four cancer right now. I don't know if I can save you, my brother. So calling Dr. You know, Overton, calling Dr. Overton. <laughs> right, right. And it's not Edward, by the way. So, uh, so, you know, it, it, you know, tread with caution. The longer you stay, even moderators, y'all can't moderate for everybody. Like, I, I mean, yeah, y'all moderating for everybody. It's like, yo, calm it down, bro. No wonder you're confused. It's like, you know, and I would encourage even you decide who you're going to moderate for. Like, be committed and stand firm into that. And, um, you know, and, and so that's my take on that. Decide who you're going to be, who you need a mentor. You need somebody to guide you. Then then shop around a little bit, I guess. Make a decision. Stick to it for that for that going to bad boy membership for a couple months, six months, whatever it is, and try out what he's teaching and see if it works for you. If it works for you, stick with Lucario and Miles. If it's zagging, uh, you know, uh, his, his approach, do it. The man mindset, 1919 or me. But mm-hmm. if you're bouncing around, you're going to one channel where it begins and ends with the man. You go to another channel where they're talking about fucking divorce rates and, and, and how she's going to fucking take all your money and leave and, you high and, and, and the dry. percentages. You're, right. you're, percentages. A, you're a confused motherfucker is what you are. Mm-hmm. Right. And you're doing yeah, that to I, yourself. Yeah, I just want to say that for a lot of you guys, again, I, I, I'm always right. You're, we're already in the <laughs> second of the new year and you're still the same motherfucker you were when that fucking ball dropped December 31st mm. at 11.59 and 50 fucking seconds. And this is the problem. Now, again, I will say, I, I love what these guys are saying, but I'm saying, listen, don't come to the man mindset if you if you are what E is talking about. We can't help you. I I will. I love kicking y'all motherfuckers away because I want I want men. I I want soldiers to pass the baton to. I don't want no cry babies. I don't want no poor me's or anything like that. If y'all want to do that, take your ass on. I want. I only want guys who really want to know the core of themselves. If you don't want to know that shit. Take your ass four doors down and to the left. 
you in the wrong place. But right. I appreciate the men. But see what I love about the men mm -hmm. on this panel? We're all different. But the thing I love about these motherfuckers, I won't say love. That's too fucking gay. I, I admire I, I was about to say something. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad. I, I was admire. just about to say something. I said admire, okay? <laughs> <laughs> the thing I admire about these motherfuckers is that at the end of the day, at I their core... The chin, the chin dildo. Oh, fuck, fuck you, man. At, at, their, at, their, at their core, they're fucking men. That's all that matters to me. Oh, I don't man. give a fuck <laughs> what the fuck they teach, how they teach it. They're fucking men, and oh, I, that's man. what I oh. do. Yeah, fuck you, Lucario. Man, what I'm saying is, is that they're motherfucking men at the end of the day, and that's why I respect these motherfuckers. Now, yeah. what they teach, they man respect. Just make, make sure stop making out with these these these, these women, dog. Stop I fucking. Just, I just found out what it was. I looked this shit up. <laughs> like, dude, like we, you guys got to stop kissing these women, dog. Like, uh, like soon as you I meet like, them, and their and their room is messy. Yeah. Like, you know, I, 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 I'm just going. I, I know we, man, I'm long with it sometimes, bro. I, I can't stand men allowing, like, just because they see this one, they just think, oh, this is this is what I have to do to get her in this way. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I've always been the master of exploring vagina without even kissing the woman. Like I'm dead serious, bro. Your masculine presence. You said what, Lucario? They gotta tell him, I gotta see a room before I kiss you. You gotta show me. Yeah, motherfucker, bitch. I right, let me and, and and let me also smell that neck. I need to smell the neck. Like I I need to I need to smell your fucking neck, bitch. Like this is what I'm saying. But all right, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Yo, uh, the, the, uh, the game is game at three, right? No, no, no. Uh, uh, you talking about the, the games next week? You talking about Super Bowl? It, no, no, no. The, the Pro Bowl. Pro Bowl. Is, is, you talking about the Pro Bowl? Oh, Pro Bowl today? Yeah, motherfucker, the Pro Bowl today, goddammit. Uh, 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 yeah, man. Uh, 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 when we, when we, when, uh, 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 yeah, I only, yeah, only watch my, when my squad lose, it's a wrap, dog. I don't even. Yeah, a yeah, I don't real even quick, know. shout out to Tyrone Williams. Williams. Shout out to Tyrone Williams. <laughs> Damn. That's how it <laughs> looks. They take selfies. Y'all be, she get about 5,000 likes for that. <laughs> she get about. She take a picture in front of that. A bunch of sips to lick and give her about five thousand likes for that bullshit but, right there. But on, on, a, on a real though, there, there were a lot of dudes that, that, that were running for the chick wrong. That is so. That is like so that. right. It's she so got true. she got brown she white socks on. No wrong, no wrong. She show half a titty. These motherfuckers are simping, bro. Dirty she got room. she got brown white socks on. Okay, that's oh, well, let me let me right. let me add Dirty this. Let me add let me add this. If you if you look inside the bitch card, that would tell you everything you need to know. The, the bitch got old from oh, McDonald's man. two weeks ago. Oh, oh, she got a bag of burgers. Yo, the, car, yo, the car is the realest. Yo, look, fact. Look, look, look inside the chick's car. That would tell you everything you need to know about. Y'all killing me. Yeah. Say, and they tonguing them. And they tonguing them down, bro. <laughs> With that room hey, looking so, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I want to. I want to say this to Tyrone Williams. I respect this guy. He <laughs> said my mentor is O'Shea Du Jackson. So what I would suggest is, furthermore, you're yes. over there at that celebrity jump. Then stay over at the celebrity jump. <laughs> Shout out to him, but don't be over here. Exactly. Hey, stay at the celebrity jump and roll with that dude because that's your mentor, bro. Shout out to O'Shea. So, so we should see here. Hey, we're we're shot callers, man. Right. <laughs> My, uh, look, I, I knew, I knew you were going to go that way. <laughs> All right, peace, fellas, man. Much respect. All right, we out. All right. All right.